Today we have arrived to Shanghai, China. I'm going to be taking you with inside of this city and showing you what life is like in China. I'm sure many of you have watched the media and have this idea of what China is like. Hacked from Chinese police computers. The Chinese Communist Party cannot be trusted. How dangerous is China? We're going to be showing you if what you're told in the media and what you know about China actually matches up with what life is like here. This is a four hour, very long yet comprehensive documentary of Shanghai that covers six full days of exploration with the British legend. Ni hao everyone. And Ali Machan. Go, uh, uh. In this video, we're going to take you into some of the most amazing places to have food. Just kidding, I've done this all the time. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Whoa. Another pomegranate juice. Done. Done. Some incredible landmarks around the city that we're going to be going up over 2,000 feet. Some very high points up there in those buildings behind me. Oh, thought we were going all the way down. The craziest massage of my life. <laughs> and so many more things. Along the way, we are going to meet a ton of various Chinese locals who will help us determine whether or not the media's perceptions of China are true or not. Shanghai, let's go. Today is a very special day for two reasons. Number one, we're with a British legend. Hello, hello. And number two is it is our first time heading to China, specifically to Shanghai. So we've got ourselves a seven hour flight from Dubai and we're gonna be doing a lot in the six days we're here. We're doing the 144 hour transit visa. We're gonna share more of that once we get there. Looks like it's gonna be a full plane, bro. So here we are, China Eastern. That's the uh, flight we're gonna be taking. Welcome aboard. Doyen, Doyen, Doyen. So, time to do a little lights out. Oh, yeah. uh, until next time, sire, we'll see you in mainland China. Shanghai, Dankai, see you soon. Yala. <laughs> oh, welcome to Shanghai, baby. We are flying over a few different Chinese cities here being the first time we've ever been here to China there's just so many cities we're flying over that I've never heard of in my life the Brit's a typical Brit his first impression is that uh, it looks like England I think we've gone the wrong way I think we're in England yeah we did a couple oh, loops good. around it looks like they drive on the right side of the road that's the wrong side uh, yeah no that's the right side you gotta teach these British that uh, they've always been driving on the wrong side of the road this is it we have arrived to Shanghai welcome welcome thank you very much brother thank you we are walking into the country we got to find the British legend he's way ahead of us but I can tell you just walking through here it looks like a higher end even uh, jet bridge I'm a little tired here but look at this it's it's definitely one of the nicer jet bridges so I feel like we're gonna see a lot of modern China very quickly here. There's our ride right there. We just rode all the way from Dubai. Uh, there's the Hermeister. Give me all your money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say you. <laughs> all right, looks like this is gonna be us. We gotta do our fingerprints up this way. Foreigner fingerprint right there. This is one of the few countries right when I arrived I had to get fingerprints in YouTube. Never had to do fingerprints yet. All right, here we are. Start the engines here, scan the passport. Please put your four right hand fingerprints. All right, look at this. Fingerprint, put the four there. Get us in the database. No receipt came out. All right, we're doing take two then. All right, so they give you this sheet. I did my fingerprints twice. Double the accuracy. Uh, foreigners? Uh, four? Please go that way. Right here, Just all, right. Them. all right, thank you. Oh, we've even got the uh, health quarantine over here. Hello. So are. Thank you. All right, we are in. All right, we're going to make it on this one, bro. Please keep clear. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right. And we are on. All right, welcome, bro. How does it feel to be in Shanghai? Ni hao, ni hao, everyone. Nice yeah. to see you. Thanks for the subscriber meetup, everyone. Yeah, we got the full on ni hao to everyone. They won't know YouTube here. That's what Chris Lewis is telling really? me. If someone says, what are you filming? You have to tell them, uh, 
Do yo. Do yo. Mm -hmm. Oh, it means TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Because if you say YouTube, they won't know it because Google's blocked here. But there is a YouTube version for Tik for China. I think so. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get you on there, bro. I will be. I'll be. I'll be the biggest Chinese YouTuber or whatever the version is. All right, so we gotta get ourselves a uh, 144 hour visa with this thing. And we had a pretty efficient process getting through you. There's a separate line for the 144 hour transit visa. And once you go through, it's actually free. I thought, I don't know why I thought it was like a fee or something, but I guess not. So super easy. And now we can explore Shanghai. You ready? I was born ready. All Let's right. go The China. Shanghaian. Hello. Hello. <laughs> For how big of an airport it is, it's pretty quiet. That's probably because it's yeah. bright and early. Yeah, first one's here. 8, 9 a.m. And guys, get ready. We've got someone waiting for us on the other side. He may or may not speak Mandarin. We're gonna find out. All right, we are searching for him. No sign of him. Or Mr. Ian Chang, is that you, bro? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. good, bro? What's going on, bro? <laughs> oh man, long time no see. Looking good, bro. Oh, looking a while, yeah. bro. We're going for the sneak attack. Yeah, didn't go very well. <laughs> I got busted. I've been here for four hours, bro. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. I'm just bro. pacing up and down. Yeah. Good nice, to see bro. you, bro. Yeah, great to see you too, oh, yeah. bro. You guys are looking fresh. Oh, uh, you know, we're just trying to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's gonna bro. be a big day. Let's do Yalla. it. Yalla. 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 And we have walked out. Oh, a nice brisk, fresh air. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I think it's time to take the metro. Test it out. Full speed ahead. All right, we're heading towards the uh, Maglev, which is right up here. Finally found the uh, bridge to go across. And we've got the boys together. It's going to be an epic 135 hours, roughly out of the 144 hours we get with the transit visa. Let's do this. Maglev Ticket Center. I'm gonna see if I can do this the touch screen way. You can go to the counter there or the touch screen. So let's go buy tickets. Oh, it's 50, one ticket, buy now. All right, we've got Alipay, which is apparently how we make payments for things. So I wanna see if this actually works. My good friend Chris Lewis recommended this because it is a cashless society. So we scan the QR code and we'll see. All right, now it says something here, Chinese, that I can't understand, but that's a good sign. Confirm, I'll confirm payment. And let's see, is this gonna be our first successful? There we go, all right. And pops out a little ticket for us. And there we go, let's do this. Let's test this thing out. And we are through. All right, we're gonna see if we can test out this vending machine, look at this, it's all touch screen. And I am seeing some prices here in dollars. So let's try something unique here. We've got Pepsi, we've got lemon tea. That sounds promising. So I'm guessing they're asking for WePay. Let's see if I can figure out how to use this thing. Uh, maybe that means sold out. I don't know. Let's, let's try the coffee. All right, I don't know what any of this means, but let's try out green. All right, no, nope, that's not gonna work. There we go. Oh, you ah, there we coffee. go. One dollar, that's not bad. So guys, we've got the answer here. Essentially, I think because there was no price there, maybe that actually means sold out. I have no idea. Oh, looks like it's gonna be a close one. It's asking me to do something here. Alipay, confirm. Oh, there we go. And, uh-oh. Time is of the essence here. And we're dispensing. All right, see who says you need to know English. And there it is. <laughs> Successful purchase. Chale chalo. <clears throat> The boys, <laughs> just in time. All right, so we're gonna be entering into one of the uh, fastest cruisers in the world, right? 
Alright. We've got the hair man hiding back there. Alright. Alright, so this is the uh, area. Gotta find a little spot to uh, post up. We got a four pack right here for the boys. Alright. We got ourselves our first Shanghai in coffee. So, took some work, but I'll tell you, like, things are pretty easy to figure out if you've ever used a vending machine. It took three of us in order to get it going. But I bet if I would have selected something that wasn't sold out, I would have gotten on the first try. Mmm, ooh, smell that, bro. Ooh, <laughs> delish. <laughs> All right, slam it, bro. Milky, but tasty. I like that. Another coffee done. done. <laughs> All right, so one of the first things we gotta do right when we get here is get us some cash. As you probably already saw, they use Alipay or other types of like electronic payments for nearly everything. That said, it is always safe to have a little bit of cash. But I have heard from other people that have traveled here that actually cash can sometimes be harder to use than paying with an electronic app, which is interesting because people are just so used to paying with their phone, they are usually not having change. So you have to have exact change a lot of the times. We'll test that in the next couple of videos and see, but I want to check out some of these videos here, bro. Guess how much money this is. Ooh. Feels quite heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's a guess, stack. If you guess, you can keep it. Yeah? Yeah, $300. Oh, Fuck. bro, no, the, the 200 of that is mine, so you, yeah, you, you can give them your 100. Right. Okay, Why did you get that? Why did you get that? It feels like, it feels like $300 to oh, be fair. Wow. Well, I asked the uh, lady to give us as many denominations as she could so we can review each one. So, because everything's in um, Mandarin here, I won't be able to tell you guys too much other than what I'm kind of just like visually observing here. It's got a similar smell to USD and a similar feel overall, but I'd say like the main differences is like all these bills are super colorful. This one's like pink with one of the historical buildings. I'm guessing a very important figure here in China as well. So the 100 note that converts to about $14. So here we've got the 50 note, it's about $7. And this one has uh, the same face on there, but on the back, it looks like we've got almost more of like a temple style build on the side of a hill which is very exotic 20s here so it looks like one thing i'm seeing on all the bills is it's the same face that differs from usd because usd has different presidents so we're down to our last couple here we've got the 10 and oh here we've got a beautiful what do you think that is bro like waterfalls niagara falls yeah niagara falls of china <laughs> that's amazing look at that river running right through there boats coming through so we've got some cool looking bills and then last but not least we've got the five and one thing i'll tell you guys is the notes are actually like different sizes when you put them all together the hundred's the largest and the five's going to be the smallest and the five's got a nice little like mountain setup that is a nice little quick review of what these bills look like now let's go spend it yalla and look at this we are now going this is absolutely the fastest train i have ever been on in my life. Look at how fast we are going. <laughs> it's almost like scary how fast we're going. Look at this, these, this is the highway right here. And we are passing these cars at like quadruple the speed. And I would say like it's relatively stable, like super smooth. <laughs> Pretty insane. Yeah, the boys are shocked over here catching some sinnies. <laughs> But look at this, we are just flooring it right through here. Look at this, right here, all these developments, a lot of similar looking like pockets of buildings there. Yeah, we're gonna have a great time exploring this city. So what do you guys think we're traveling at? Like what, two, 300 kilometers an hour? I'd say exactly 301. 301? Yeah. Uh, you, you looked this up before, didn't you? Well, I don't know, I mean, I <laughs> All right, I did not know that was there, wow. to be honest. Yeah, we're going 301 kilometers an hour. I'm standing here and it is perfectly stable. This is insane. This is insane. I am very impressed. Oh, we've got to get trains like this. Oh, all over the world. All right, and we are arriving. 
Welcome, welcome. That was a really fast seven minute ride for uh, just about $7. So not bad at all. And look at this thing. This is the track right here. It's like, it just hovers over the top of this magnet, I guess. And it just zooms. I was in shock. Like I'm fascinated with trains. Like I'm kind of obsessed with them, not gonna lie. All right, and then we gotta scan out just like this. Boom. Oh, boom. Insert uh, insert. Oh, insert. Oh, oh, thank you, brother. Here we go. Ah. Hi ho, hi ho, off to the hotel we go. <laughs> We've got option one, hop on some bikes. Option two, hop in the taxi. Ni hao. Weston, all right, chale chalo. Let's do it, load them up. Oh. Ni hao, brother. Yalla yalla. Yalla. Ni hao. All right, here we go. Hotel Weston. Hmm? Got maps on there. Oh, we got the Google map up there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that sounds, that says uh, like and subscribe to uh, Go With Ali. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. We're heading straight towards our first Shanghai Bridge. Welcome to Shanghai. Oh, that is the tallest building in all of China right there. That one's sticking right up. Oh, we got hotel to the right. That's a good sign. No pun intended right there. Oh, the Westin Bund. We pay with the uh, Alipay, brother? All right, we have switched to our next mode of transportation, which is the uh, handy dandy legs. And we are walking now through the area called, to the area called the Bund, because that's where we're going to be staying here at the Westin. So we're going to get a taste of what this is like. Probably the most popular place in the entire city is the Bund. And you're going to see why when we get over to the skyline. But I'm, I will say one of the first things that surprises me is a lot more uh, signs and things are actually in English here. You can find probably, I'd say nearly 80% of the signs that have it in Chinese and in, um, in English there. So it's actually much easier to get around than I expected or like kind of navigate through this area. Still a bit of a uh, language barrier, but not one that's, you know, too challenging, too complicated, especially as somewhat of seasoned travelers, I can say. And look at this, my friends. As promised, we are coming up to the Bund, but we're still not at the most impressive part of it. Oh, the British legend is running. Get back here. Oh, look at this, guys. Yeah, the boys are making an impression that this place kind of feels a little bit similar to the UK. And now that we have these red double-decker buses cruising around and some of these like English style builds here, I can see that similarity for sure. Yeah, I will say the initial walk through here, even though it's only about a few minutes into arriving, everything is very, very clean and things are orderly not as busy as i was expecting it to be it is during the week but yeah like nice designs and everything a lot of flowers and colors bringing out the vibrancy and look at this we have made it to the official part of the bund which is probably one of the most impressive views you can get on the eastern side of china here right here we've got the bund oh look at this the entire city skyline here you can see the daily busyness happening here some of the barges going by moving stuff we've got the radio tower no tv tower i believe it's called largest and tallest tower in all of china and then a bunch of smaller uh, buildings right there we got the shangri-la hsbc city yeah some of these are recognizable names i mean it's the middle of the day the work day here everyone's out here taking photos and checking this place out Wow. Not a bad background to be uh, filming this right here. Oh, hello, Ni Hao, Ni Hao! 
Oh, we got the full, the full set of... Ni hao, ni hao, ab kese hai, tige, bohot achya. Ha 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 ha. 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 Ha ha 
你吃了吗？你吃了吗？吃吃。一米太吃你吃了吗？你吃了吗？你吃了吗？你吃了吗？你好吗？对，你啊，你好吗？谢谢，谢谢 ，Thank you。这个您您肯定会。太好了，太好了，太好了，太好了，呃，拜拜。Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Adios. Adios, amigo. Yeah, adios. Adios, español. Adios. Adios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ilelokar, Arabia. Ilelokar. Yeah, Ilelokar. Ah, Arabic. Masalame. Okay, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Muslim. Okay. Protestant. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Protestant. Oh,
something like that. You see what the, uh, he's the food god. Let's test it out. Cheers, bro. Oh, I don't know. Unidentifiable piece of meat. I don't know, but it's damn good. I don't know, bro. It could be, though. Mm. They're basically like... On one side, kind of crispy. On the other side, noodly almost. And yeah, I can't tell what meat that is. Everything's in another language. And the woman I bought it from didn't understand much English besides one piece that actually meant one bowl. <laughs> Bro, did you try one of these yet? I'm not sure if I did. Interesting. It's the mystery meat. I'll see if you can figure out what it is. And there is no wrong answer because we don't know the right answer. That is... It's nice. I'd say that's like, Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe like a beef, I want to say. Yeah, I, I, that's what I would put my money on, that it's a beef. Yeah, wait. Oh no, so it's a wagyu. Yeah, beef, cow. Yeah, they even gave uh, oh, no. an extra one in case you want to have your own stack. I want all of them. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, there you go, bro. We got, we'll hook you up. And then you could be at the same time. It's like part of you wants to think it's beef, but then part of you knows that it could be dog. Oh, that, there's the a little, risk there. Like, little cute chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> it's not surprising that the British legend wants that when this is the food choice he thought of right here. What is this thing? I don't know. It looks like a deflated boob job. Yeah, it's like oh, all the that girls looks in like. <laughs> <laughs> and you've you got know. some. No, that's your specialty. <laughs> and then this one's like a fully rock hard breaded layer. Soft pen, bro. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and find something else for round two meals, but uh, a nice little introduction to the Chinese food cuisine here in Shanghai. The problem with this is I don't think this is like real authentic Chinese food. Like this is mostly for tourist people just to come quick in and out. So I think we'll need to hit up like a real place to get some nice authentic recipes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, this was more of just like a quick stop because we saw it and it had really flashy lights and vibrant style atmosphere and we we're like all right let's stop in but we're gonna have some really delicious meals while we're here because chinese food anywhere you go in the world's amazing but where it's coming from at the source is even better so it's gonna be great and we are departing but look at this so many good options oh those are the uh, sugar-coated strawberries bro oh yeah yeah we gotta try those so many options here but yeah, wow, what a first day. There's like so many new things that I've never seen in any other places I've been around the world that are very unique to China. The types of foods, the signage, the vibrant atmosphere. It's really just such a sensory overload. That's the best way to explain it. All right, we're going vlog versus vlog here. Uh, ni hao, brother. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. hello, hello. Uh, from US and UK. You know, we had a vlogathon or a vlog off. <laughs> hey, you're filming me. Hey, hey you're hey, filming yeah. me. <laughs> the guy was like, all right, get away, get away. And the girl's like, where are you from? <laughs> get over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> guy came up to me uh, trying to sell something, pulled out the camera. I was like, this is good content. He's like, no. And then he runs. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you're up to. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> busted, busted. <laughs> So we got the police cruising around. We got to get ourselves one of those buggies so we can go riding in that thing. That thing looks fun. So this whole area is like a huge shopping area. As you can probably tell by now. And yeah, it's really upscale. It feels like almost maybe a uh, Chinese Times Square walk through New York City. But obviously, like the more modern of the city, the more similar they all start to look, no matter where you are in the world. But it's definitely unique. Yeah, we're just walking through this whole area. We've got Subway here, we've got Pandora, Sephora, and M&M's. This place is like basically half westernized and the other half, it's still local. You look on this side, you have all of the uh, Mandarin calligraphy on this side. And yeah, and then this side, it's like all these American brands. That's quite the contrast, bro. It's insane. Let me try that thing. It's insane that it's like technically a communist country. However, they've embraced capitalism and it's now a fully, if you look around, it feels like a capitalist country. Yeah, it really does. That is a wild contrast. This is this is insane. We're walking through Shanghai at the moment. 
Just such an interesting place. And this area is definitely big on high-end brands, I've noticed. I've seen a lot of the huge brands that uh, you'll find all over the world. Dior right there, we've got Nike, a huge mall right there. Escalators leading up. In some ways, there's a lot of like culture shocks being here for the first time and you know, like the Chinese way of living. But then there's also so many similarities. It's uh, quite fascinating to see. I think Shanghai in general is a very uh, international city. I don't think I actually know, but it's a very international city. So the influence of like Western culture and or international culture, not just Western culture is, is huge here because there's so much business with Shanghai being the financial hub of the country. So yeah, great first impression so far of the city. We walked a few steps more and we're finding that inside the city of Shanghai, there's a lot of like park areas where people will come around. I mean, you feel like you're in the middle of nature. This side we've got trees here and then we have this little river with those huge koi looking goldfish right over here. You boys thinking about swimming? Yeah, I think- Yala? I would pay you a thousand dollars if you went in there. Right? Actually, one thousand. If you dived in there, I will give you a thousand. I could dive, bro. <laughs> you say dive or dive? Well, both. <laughs> that's, that's what my thousand is going towards. Oh, that's, all right, that's a great deal. But yeah, it's a really quaint and peaceful place. You can't even hear the sounds of the cities walking through here. Oh, look at this! We've got a full-on photo shoot going on. Looking good, very good. <laughs> Looking very good. Oh yeah, good photo, good photo. <laughs> yeah, really friendly. I don't know if they understood me, but they definitely understood when I said good photo because they had like five cameras taking the photo of one woman. The blue asphalt seems like it's going to lead us to somewhere interesting. This place is actually known as uh, People's Park. So it's quite a unique place. I mean, just being in the city and having all this, especially designed in a way that's, it feels very much like nature, but also very much created, which gives it a special feel to it. We're going to scare them. <laughs> I knew you were there and I still got scared. Yeah. <laughs> bro, no, that's two for zero, bro. I'm taking oh, you out. Yeah, I'm too old for this. One. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. thought there was a monster here in the garden? <laughs> people's gardens got people's monsters. It's crazy. It does feel like we're in the jungle right now. And we're actually just in between a couple skyscrapers. <laughs> Look at this down here. So inside People's Park, you even have a cafe in the center. People just kind of sit out in here. And it looks like even in the summer, they must have some outdoor seating up there just such a nice little vibe this is awesome and this is what i mean where you just have the skyscrapers peeking out right out of the top in the middle of the city what do we have going on here bro it's about to be a performance a little, china's got talent a little dance party you hopping in yeah <laughs> they're gonna start break dancing oh i'm ready for this <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, well, you're getting in there, bro, just like in Tanzania. <laughs> we got the uh, dance competition. We got one group here. We got the beats going on here. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, we got a rifle. Oh. Oh. You guys got to get in on this. Oh, he likes it. He likes it. <laughs> yeah, he likes it. <laughs> 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 Got a little bit of men, boy. Yeah. Only in Shanghai, my friend. Like high school dance. <laughs> like teasing, teasing. No, no beers involved either. Yeah, no. eye contact. It's mm -hmm. all in the eyes. No, no, no eye contact. Completely ignore that. Bye. 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 Well, a nice little cruise through People's Park sure lived up to its name. What do we, what do we got there? Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Babe. All right. Sweet. You know, babe. So we got our good man taking us somewhere. We're just walking down the road right now. He's uh, 
bringing us somewhere. <laughs> I guess we're going to get a massage. This is where we're going to get traffic. What the f Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Mm -hmm. One seat. For one seat. Fifty-nine. Eighty dollars. Oh. Whoa. One seat, the two pieces. Man, oh man, I could buy the real pennies. Yeah, the real one. Real pennies. Price is nah. We'll do. Magazines. Nah. We'll, we'll do. Uh, Fifty-five. Fifty-five. What? Uh, yuan. <laughs> Fifty-five yuan. I think that's how much I it also want. to make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what's uh? All right. What's your next best price? I give five hundred. Okay, for one seat, one seat, 500. not one. Oh my God! Is that in, did he 70. double the price? He went ten. Oh, down that's, by that's 10 still bucks. too much. We'll we'll bring it up to seventy-five here. S sorry, can't. Uh, if you want to give me real price, okay. All right, you give, my, you give him real price. My final offer is one hundred. For one piece. For the two set. <laughs> uh, we we need we gotta work here together, brother. If it's not real, then uh, you got it for a good price. It's one of those sayings: you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I give three twenty okay for one set. Three twenty. Forty-five. Yeah. Oh, forty-five. That's a lot of money for a pen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For a pen, brother, it's too much. No, I don't think I can go any higher. So, how many pieces do you want? Um, so your final price. If you unite, you will find a price. What do you think is a good final price? I'd say twenty bucks maximum. Yeah. What does that come out to then? One fifty? No, I can't go higher than one fifty, brother. Two twenty, okay. Two twenty. Two twenty. I can't go higher than one fifty. I don't need pens, so. Oh, we'll, so how many sets do you want? I'll maybe look around then, see what else we got. How many sets? How many sets do you want? Uh, Just the one or two? Uh, you want to sit? No. no. Too expensive for me, brother. Hey, shoes, shoes, shoes. Hello. Hey, watch. Can't, can't do past 150, brother. What do you want? A real can of the goose. Which one you want? What do we got? What's the final? Okay, we got 150. You got 150 in that bag, bro? Or you got change there, brother? Okay. All right, thank you very much. So which one you want? I'll go with uh, that pack right down there. Okay. This one? Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, Great doing business. If it's for free. <laughs> oh, we got the full on Louis Vuitton, everything Gucci, Prada, wow. everything designer. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the full secret collection. And this is real? Real copy? First copy? Yeah. Good copy? Alright. You thinking about getting an LV, bro? Everything I'm designer? Probably, I'm probably gonna wait. But I do need a water upgrade. What oh, wow. Oh, my days. Right here, boys. What do we got going on there? Watches? Oh, yeah. Imagine me just taking this briefcase back. Oh yeah, you get the briefcase. <laughs> you can start your own watch business in the Philippines. How much for a full briefcase? So hundred and ten for the watch? Yeah, so basically, like I could get it down to like twenty dollars probably. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. No problem. That's for you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Yes. All right, brother. We're gonna we're gonna go off on our own. He's got another plan for us. So we are back inside the large shopping area. That was our first time going into like a fake market area, and it's quite interesting that 
we were able to finally find a guy who we could go ahead and film, but I blurred the faces out because, you know, like the first guy we filmed when we got here, he was like very worried when we pulled out a camera. So, you know, don't want to give away their identity. I don't know what's legal and what's not here, so. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was cool to go in there. They had like this secret back room, like so many different types of designer brands in there. I've heard about these like in the movies and documentaries and to go actually have someone find us and bring us in there was an awesome experience. And look at this, we have made it to the Westin, the Westin Bun Center. This is one of the nicest hotels in Shanghai here. So we're going to be showing you guys exactly why when we head on in, look at this massive custom floor mat Westin. Here we go. Checking over there. Oh, uh, oh checking over here, yeah. yeah. That's going to be the check-in area right over here. Got some delish desserts, even with waffle cones. Uh, check in, please. Yeah, what do we got here? Fingerprint, bro. Test Selfie. it out. Oh, who's that? Damn, is that the British legend? <laughs> wow, cameras. Oh, there, there, there's our buddy, uh, Candy. Candy. Uh, one room. One room. Yeah. Hey, hey, we see him. He's smiling. <laughs> no, no, there's three in the room. And look at this. We have arrived to the West End. A pretty incredible center of this place we got the fountain right here and a little restaurant we'll be trying something out here gotta find where the boys went though maybe uh ah okay so that probably gets us up to some room levels up there and over here is gonna be the elevator inshallah all right the boys have arrived to the room Welcome, real Ahla. Mm -hmm. Look at this. We got a nice little setup here. Comes with, I don't know, of course, extra charge there. We got the Fiji water and a bottle of wine. It says drink me right there. What about down here in the cabinets? Oh, yeah, they've always got the secret stash of snacks and booze. And even more ice cold, nice colds in there. Yeah, this is, def this is definitely the definition of a high-end hotel nice little working space and there's just a couch here i was thinking there's going to be more but look at this wow beautiful views of shanghai looking out we can see many different sides of the city almost like a 180 degree view tv right there what do we got here oh yeah the suite continues two beds right inside there the boys are all going to be staying in one room here. And then the master. Oh, it oh, looks like we're uh, interrupting something in here. Uh, hello, I need more toilet paper. I've had really, really bad diarrhea. Oh, God. Oh, God. we got to get this room tour going here. <laughs> and yeah, this leads right back to Ali Machan right there. So this is a uh, huge room. This is awesome. And we're paying like $220 per night i think 1000 pounds for three nights here so i'd say it'll sleep the sleep the boys pretty well here it is time to rest and relax and we're going to show you more of this hotel later <laughs> got the boys passed out here oh, God. <laughs> sure, sure sleep a lot uh... today is day number two here in the financial capital of china Welcome back to Shanghai. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Go With Ali Machan. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be exploring a little bit more of Shanghai today. We've got some insane things planned, some things that are probably gonna blow your mind. And so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're actually at the Bund, which if you saw in my first day here, we explore this beautiful city skyline and there's a really unique tunnel that we're gonna be taking you guys in. So let's do it. We've kind of got like this Disney style advertisement walking right in here. You've got the Mona Lisa and then you've got, oh, you've even got Einstein right up there. Looks a little quiet today. I hope it's open. So as you guys can tell, we're in this eerie hallway right now. Not to, all right, we're not alone. We've got AI with us. But I guess it is the middle of the week, so we're not going to find as many people, but coming down here, Kind of reminds me of a movie theater when you first walk in you got your popcorn there some showings on the right side and let's see what we can get oh 
Okay. Hello. Oh, let's see what we can. Are these uh, good candies right there? What is this? Like a watermelon? Oh, gummies. Yum. Gummies or eyeballs? You want any, bro? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which one do you want, bro? All right. Let's try some of these out. Uh, let's see. Alipay. All right. She she. All right. Here we go. This looks so good. Gummies are like my favorite type of candy. So when I saw this, especially because I haven't eaten breakfast yet, I'm like. Wow. These gummies take some work. Just first of all, to get it off this stick and then chew on these. But it tastes just like a delicious, fresh watermelon gummy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. These are so freaking tasty. <laughs> these are incredibly delicious, bro. You gotta try one, honestly. <laughs> That was a fire, bro. <laughs> I know. I it's saw those. Not real water, but yeah, exactly. That was good. Yeah, so good, bro. So we want to go ahead and get ourselves a uh, package ticket for famous sightseeing. So we've got the observatory, top of Shanghai. Oh, we can get the top of the Shanghai observatory, bro. So that'll be great. And let's see, top of Shanghai plus sightseeing tunnel, or Oriental Pearl plus sightseeing. I think Oriental Pearl is closer. So, oh, we'll get that. Oriental Pearl plus sightseeing. Hello. Hello. Uh, Oriental uh, Pearl Tower plus sightseeing tunnel. Uh, okay, it's one, one way. Pass, pass. Passport? 249, so 34, $35. Alipay? Ten and one way. Oh, perfect, yeah. Okay. All right, and we got it. Shishi. Got the tickets. Shishi. Ni hao. And scanned, and we're in. Thank you. We are in. It's a little quiet today, which is nice, because then we kind of get the place to ourselves. Oh, they're just little train cars right there. This looks wild, bro. Are you ready? This looks crazy. Yeah. Oh, whoa. It's a single carriage, huh? This, I think it's single carriage, yeah. That's sweet. So we got the crib to ourselves. So we got ourselves a Red Bull right there. Check this thing out. I've never seen a Chinese Red Bull before. We have all of the Mandarin written all around it. The only English letters, I think, on the whole thing our Red Bull's logo where it says actually Red Bull. So other than that, Red Bull vitamin flavor drink at the bottom. But it's cool, I'm curious to see what this thing tastes like. Look at this thing, you, if you're not familiar with these, I've seen these in some countries like in Lebanon, but this top just pops right off. And so you just toss that thing right over there in the recyclable. Cheers bro. Done. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for this train now, bro. Oh, That's good. isn't that interesting, bro? I don't know if it was just mine, but it wasn't carbonated. No, not at all. It tasted You're like fine. a juice. Yeah. It's like, if you guys know, like, describing soda when it's flat. Like, if you leave, like, a soda or a pop out for too long and it's flat, then there's no bubbles in it. This, you pop it right open. And it's just a flat drink, so it makes it much easier to sit right down. Pretty good. Not bad. Oh, this one's us? Oh, here we go. Oh, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Run, run. <laughs> All right, just in time. Wow, okay. Shishi. Uh, you, you come? Are you coming with? Oh, okay. Shishi. <laughs> Bukajia to you. Oh, we gotta hold on? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we're going we're going straight into the rain bro let's go we gotta get some <laughs> music going well, this part right here that we're going through is literally magma so it must be like a different theme when we go through each part of it like on this side was magma back there seemed like the disco party and look at even everywhere in shanghai is so freaking clean like look at down at these train tracks there's not like a single even speck of dirt <laughs> and it looks like we are reaching the end of it and the last step, we've got a little disco party right there. Look at this, the, the light shines all the way down in there from those spotlights. It looks like this is where we just came from, bro. Oh, it looks like we lost power. We lost power. 
Here we go. Here's All right. Ni hao. Oh, we are back up. We got that uh, futuristic feel everywhere you go. But we've got another one of these interesting vending machines where I don't know if those are advertisements on the side or if you can buy all their stuff. But yeah, there's all these juices and things. A lot of automation from what I've seen around here, which is quite interesting. What do we got going on over here? These are those things that you bring to go swimming, right? Oh, it's goggles. VR? Oh. Oh, there's a QR code in there. <laughs> <laughs> they have QR codes everywhere. How'd you like that uh, ride through there, bro? I loved it, man. Super crazy lights. Like, you, you gotta be, like, really into it. Yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, honestly, it's quite fun. We got some fishes there, got crazy I know. disco lights, yeah. you can have a whole party. There. Honestly, yeah, they just need to put a little EDM music on there, bro. <laughs> yeah, bring a couple beers for me and uh, yeah, pull <laughs> oh. Wow, when you've been underground where it's pitch black, it is so bright out. I can barely even see. And the sun <coughs> hitting my... <coughs> Whoa, whenever the sun hits me, it just gets me. And look at this. There is the next place we're going. One of the most iconic buildings in Shanghai. Let's go. It's gotta be in the top 10 most exotic and unique buildings I've ever seen in my life while traveling. But it's the iconic look in Shanghai. That's why this was like a must for coming and making a visit to. Cause there is no other skyline except maybe there's a similar type of TV tower. I wanna say maybe in Berlin, Germany. Not like super similar, but some sort of I guess uh, really odd unique shapes built in but it's like a big sphere you have like mini ones all the way up with like I guess balconies surrounding it and then spikes way up at the top above the main sphere and a massive point up top so we'll see how far we can make it I'm actually not entirely certain like if you can get to the very very top but I think we'll get some amazing views of Shanghai. They said uh, the lifts are not working today, so we're gonna have oh, to take the steps. Leg day, bro. You ready for this? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I won't be able to keep up with Ali. <laughs> and here we are in front of the incredibly tall TV tower, bro. You ready for this? I'm just looking up at this thing like, whoa, are you, are you gonna be afraid going up? Because you're afraid of heights. I'm going up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna test that out, bro. You're, you're definitely going up. With how much we paid, it's worth it. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> Look at this thing. All right, these are one of the things that's confusing about here is like, I don't know, do we just start walking? There's no stoplights, there's nothing. There's people waiting on this side. There's taxis, there's a guy coming through here. I guess it's kind of maybe pedestrians right of way. Stuff just all flows together. I think they're being polite for the <laughs> Yeah, exactly, they know we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, that's the tallest one in uh, all of China right there. It kind of just has this curvy architecture we might be doing a trip over there so stick around you'll find out very soon because we don't even know yet all right this looks like the uh entrance here entrance and oh yeah everything's in china here this one's the 200 ticket so this was the expensive one 28 dollars for this ni hao ni hao ni hao Take it over there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wrong wrong place. All right. <laughs> you're like, you're, you're in the wrong place if you're going to the TV tower. Oh, this is like Starbucks and food stands over there. We might have to go there after, bro. They've got food. Starbucks? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Starbucks and food stands, all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> Must be good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what do you think? We're back on the right track? Oh, right. oh, this has got to be it right here. All right, here it is. Hello, Nihal. Yeah. Okay, passport. Okay. Hello, Oh, she, she. All right. Well, we're good to go then. Well, that's uh, clear that we have sometimes some language barriers because what they were telling us is that we needed our passport checked first and then we could go through here because they printed something on the ticket that said our identity was checked, I guess. So now we're back. Oh, 
Okay, we made it in. Look at this. Screens all along here, leading straight up to the massive TV tower. That is magnificent. This is gonna be wild. And there's so many spots we stopped when we had the camera off and saw a little brochure. And like in each of these like spheres, there's just different stuff going on. So I bet this is why there's a big old $30 price ticket on it for us. All right, is this the entrance? Oh, there's the entrance right there. All right, and the modernity of this place is beginning. We've got screens all the way around. Some like kind of caged roof, I guess that blocks from the rain. And the tower entrance this way. Oh, we're getting some photos here. <laughs> Probably the last picture you said. No, these are going to be great, bro. We're going to have a full album after being here. Thank you. She should. She was impressed by the flexibility. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's like, most people stand like this usually. <laughs> All right, we're going to she show right over through here. All right, we got the face scanner here, brother. Ticket. Ah, oh, ticket, yeah. Shisha. Oh, they, they were expecting a lot more people than showed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like we are And after walking through, we have entered into the first sphere here. And I'm looking around, it's like a mall on the first floor. This part's a little underwhelming, but we haven't gotten to the good part. So I guess let's follow this gateway to bring us in. Nihal. Oh, and this is the elevator to take us up. 263, yeah. Good afternoon, distinguished guests. Welcome to the Oriental Tower, which is a symbolic building of Shanghai. After 15.5 seconds, we will be at the Alps Sophia at 216 square meters high. The whole view of Huangpu River will be right in front of you. Hope you have a good time. Thank you. Xie Xie. Xie Xie. Wow, I didn't feel mm. a single thing. <laughs> I know. Like we're still <laughs> yeah. Look at how high, bro, we got that quickly. We just flew up, bro. Yeah, lost in translation with exit. It's kind of like a dance party going on in here. We've got a lot of action. I guess there's no line downstairs because everyone's already made it up. But here it is, my friends. Views of... The whole Shanghai. This is insane. Oh, and look at that. We've even got the tower right there, shattering right into the distance. All the boats coming in and out. This gives us a much more, I guess, like realistic view, no pun intended, of what this city actually feels like from above. Like all of these large buildings are kind of surrounded by this river area. And then, like, when you go further out, the buildings seem to get a bit shorter. And the color tones in a lot of like, it looks like the residential buildings are somewhat similar so it blends in, but it's a lot of these modern structures that really kind of pop out with those contrasting colors. Oh, and actually right down here we can see all of the information on what we can see from each view. So the designer of the AIA building right down here, Shanghai Federation of Trade. Let's walk around this place and see what we can find. I'm sure each part of this whole area, because it's a 360 degree view, is going to give us a different feel. On the inside, we've got like a bunch of little gifts all around that you can buy. I bet coming up here at sunset would be absolutely wild too. Look at down there. These are the river cruises that people hop on. And you can take them during the day, during the night. I hope we get a chance to explore them. Pretty popular place for being here during the middle of the day. I think over here, we can even get ourselves a little uh, coin. Oh, let's get a city skyline. Touch to buy. We got Alipay, let's do it. It's time to get a little Alipay, Ali coin. Let's test this thing out. Oh, look at what they look like. Those are so sick. Okay, let's get that thing going. Well, bam. Alipay in process confirmed. Oh, that's crazy how fast and integrated that Alipay is. Whoa. All right, so that's pre-made. I thought they were making these on the spot. That's, that's still pretty sweet. Oriental Pearl. That's dope. Yeah, that is that is super dope. Look at the skyline right there. Oh, yeah. 
And what do you think, bro? Are these views blowing your mind? I love it, man. Like, when you're at the ground level, you don't realize how busy and super built up this area is. Like, you see a tower here and there, but when you see them one behind the other like this, it's absolutely insane. There's literally a high tower every single way you look. Yeah, that's so true, bro. It's insane. Like, especially because we were staying on that side. Oh, that's the, the mall we walked through. Oh, yeah. And uh, now when you go to this side, you basically see a completely different city. You know, just looking the other way. So that's and a lot of the similar gift shops as we're walking around. Here, it might be a little hard to see because the sun's somewhat exposed. But yeah, you can see a bit of a layer of smog over there in the air. But uh, right down here, it's very, very clear. We're gonna get our first look at China's tallest building. That's right, in the entire country. You see how high we up are up now? We're at like this level. The tallest building goes all the way to the top there. It's not as tall as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, but it's definitely uh, giving it some good competition. I feel like we're gonna have to go see it just to say that we went to China's tallest building. Look at this down here. We've got a bit of the fall view, walk and bridge connecting all of it. A lot of road infrastructure in between there. And a nice fall look here in Shanghai. All right, that was a nice view. Now we've got the transparent observatory. The stairway that's bringing us. The 259 high outdoor site seating corridor is composed of glass floor and wall with great stimulation. Those who have acrophobia or aren't suitable must be careful. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sending you out. I'm sending you out. <laughs> no, I'll save you, bro. <laughs> Knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you, bro. That's that's from when I first met Ali. He would have never even considered even going up here. Oh, so the, the fact that you just did that is insane. <laughs> bro, imagine if someone if someone just came and like shot a bullet. I would literally just free fall. Look at this guy. It's made in China. I'm not going to lie. My, I'm not scared of fights. Uh, my legs are a little sore. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That was all Ali's idea. Well, it's really funny to see people's interactions. It's hilarious to see people. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Well, well worth spending nearly $30 on it. Yeah, 100% worth it. Oh yeah, you overcame your fears today. I'll, I'll be shocked you did that, bro. I flattered with my fears. I don't know why. Overcoming it. Yeah, exactly. Go one step closer to overcoming it. Maybe after 10 more buildings like this. 263, down to one. Three, two, one. Oh shoot, that wasn't supposed to happen. Thought we were going all the way down. Let's try that again. Here we go. Uh, oh, all right. We are back down. That was a long jump, guys. Let me tell you this, do not try that at home or when you're here at the TV tower, bro. I was tired, huh? You almost beat me on the elevator. <laughs> I just jumped, that was scary, bro, but we made it. <laughs> on to the next one, brother. Hey. So guys, we're gonna be going up this escalator right here. And this is gonna bring us to one of the most unique sidewalks you'll have ever seen in your life. Maybe. It's definitely gonna be one of the most unique ones I've seen. It really looks like the city of the future right now when you're going up here and wow and we've got the typical surveillance cameras say hello everyone hello hello and look at this views of the roundabout in such nice order traffic road signs garden in the middle So we just made it up the escalators and this is the Oriental Pathway. This is truly like a sidewalk I've never experienced in my life. I don't even know if you can call it a sidewalk. It's like a skywalk. 
you've got China's largest and tallest tower right here, right behind me. And the crazy part is we're in the middle of the city, guys. Isn't that insane? Besides a couple of people's voices, I don't know if it's just the acoustics here or if there's so many EVs, a couple maybe gasoline cars in here, but you just can't hear much. And that's one thing. In a lot of places, especially Ali would know this, you know, when we go to India, we go to Sri Lanka, lots of horns. There is no horns you hear around here. My ears would be bleeding. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, exactly, in Delhi. And here, just like, look at this. The ambiance is phenomenal. As I walked through Shanghai, I couldn't help but think, wow, this place is one of the most modern cities I have experienced. And the life here has so many similarities to other places I've been all around the world. So why are there so many misconceptions about this country? All right, we have made it down back with the boys and it's gonna be our first time going up on the Metro here. So it's one of the only modes of transportation we haven't tried out yet. Let's head on down. It seems like it's a pretty busy time to be heading down. Oh, and look at this. Left side is for walking fast. We can go the fast way, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is how you uh, take the W, get down there first. And we're down. Now we probably need a ticket. Need a ticket? I think we can do it from Alipay. But I don't know where we're going. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Alright, I'm not sure how Ali got the card, but I guess you can use those machines. You can also do it on Alipay, but if you're using it on Alipay to get it, you need to verify your ID. Because I almost got to the step where I was able to buy one before Ali got me mine. But uh, yeah, I guess maybe you have to verify the passport with a photo and something. I don't know if it's an immediate access. But for the next ride, we'll try that out. But we've got rush hour going on, as you can see here. Do the old-fashioned scanneroo. There we go, straight through. Hey, it's like we're locals walking through here. We have been walking and navigating this metro for probably 20 minutes now. I feel like we've almost walked there. Maybe that's what they mean by metro. <laughs> it's a pretty big car. Yeah, it's actually insane. Like it just goes to show you how many underground tunnels are connected. Bro, by the way, where are we even going at? Nanjing Road. Nanjing Road, yeah. what's over there? Nanjing. Oh, the shopping area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's chow time there. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of a Chinese version of the Washington DC Metro, one of the stops that I used to go to when I worked there a while ago. This is the one? All right. Oh, yeah. The police got gotcha. you. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were busted. They were taking uh, it. They're like, oh, no British allowed. <laughs> no, I was like, give me the directions to Nanjing. Right now, we're going to Nanjing. So we're going underwater on this one, too. <laughs> so it's second round. <laughs> and a big shout. The boys are legends here. They've all got the perception sweaters on. Appreciate oh, you, boys. Yeah, I mean it's fresh as hell. Oh, appreciate that, brother. As you guys can see that, all different types of climates. Right now, we've got the uh, Perception sweater on. Underneath that, we've got shirts for the next series, which is gonna be in an amazing country. So they are warm, they're keeping us good to go. And they look fresh, right? She thinks so as well. So check the link in the description below and you'll be able to find some incredible bits just like this, changing perceptions around the world. Anyways, let's hop on this Metro. It's gonna be a tight fit. Time to chale chalo right in there. Oh wow, this is busy, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. I've always wanted to experience what it's like getting on a train that's like super crowded in China because you see many videos like that on the internet. And you just, you gotta make it work. Oh, oh. British legend, you gotta push in if you wanna make it. Oh, oh. There's only one way in. I feel like I'm in Delhi. Yeah. We're really getting to know the Chinese population here. Ni <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at this. All right, yeah. <laughs> Wait, one stop on here, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nanjing Road, Bai Sap. Nanjing Road. Nanjing Road. Oh, is that the next one? Nanjing Road. Oh, this one, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, Nanjing. Oh. All right. Okay. Shisha. 
Shisha. Shisha. Shisha. Where, yeah. where are you from? Uh, America, uh, Britain, Britain. Oh. <laughs> London. Yeah. You are from Shanghai? Beijing. Beijing, Beijing. good city. Airport. Uh, airport. Oh, okay. Looks like she's uh, eyeing you. How are you? Oh, anyway. rejected, bro. Are we back in <laughs> Lebanon? <laughs> yeah. I think I have this effect on foreign women. Maybe I'm scary. <laughs> yeah. I do look like a bouncer right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's guarding the door. Not tonight, boys. What's the password to get through? Yeah. <laughs> you have to pass. <laughs> I bet we're going to get a solid push right out of here. Shisha. Bye bye. Bye. Where is it? I was like, think about that. <laughs> All right. And the rush to get out begins. That's your stop, Pudong. Pudong. And we gave our ticket back. We're almost back up at the surface. Yeah. That's such a fascinating place. It's like we almost have like tables. It looks like right above us. And here it is. Oh, the brisk cold is back. Oh, five guys. I know this one. Oh, these are the yeah, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, there it is right up there. That double looks quite good. Didn't know they made it all the way out here. Five guys did. We just arrived back to Nanjing Road, and this place is a different world at night. There's probably like three times the amount of people, four times the amount of people. And it just gives this place a different look because there's all this accent lighting like built up into here. These like orange lights. And yeah, it just gives you that like busy China feel that you come here for. So this is pretty sweet. We're actually looking for uh, one of Harry's friends and we're gonna be heading out for some delish chow. All right, we just did a little walk down here and they're pulling us in with how delicious this food looks like. It's gonna be our first proper Chinese meal because we tried a little bit of street food, had a little something something at the hotel. But this will be the first great meal. Is this the entrance, boys? This one or this one? All right, this looks like the one. Let's head on up, see what we can find up here. As I looked around for a second, I started to think this is such a crazy moment to experience Chinese culture and see how different life is. Oh yeah, we've gotten to food heaven. I feel like this is going to be similar to the last experience we had. This is where we were last time. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like it. All right, there are so many types of food in here that I've never seen in my life, or at least made the way that they're making. Oh, okay, we're going higher up. Oh, all right. This looks good. Oh, this go. looks there authentic, go. bro. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. It's time to chow. All right. Hello. Ni hao. Now, right now, can we get some wagyu? Wagyu? Hot pot? Yeah, hot pot. Looks good. I'm good. If you're good, bro. Yeah? Is that pizza right there? <laughs> okay. Alright, fine. That's it. Okay. Yes. I'm full. Okay. Oh, look at what are we making right there. It looks uh, very delicious. Ooh, that smells phenomenal. Whoa, the floor is like, it almost feels rubber. We've got a little dry ice going on right there. This is like where you want to go when you want to experience the true Chinese experience. All right. We're going to be eating like kings, boys. Mm -mm, good. Chow time, chow time. Chow time, chow time, chow time. We gotta cook something up in there for sure. Delicious food? Uh, That's the pizza here? Pifu. Pifu, alright, similar. Uh, no spicy, spicy. No spicy, no spicy. Oh yeah. Uh, to, uh, no spicy, no spicy, spicy. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Mm, Good. That looks delicious. Is this gonna be the warm water too? <laughs> Oh, 
Whoa. Specially made for us today, yeah? <laughs> Shishé. Oh, oh, what do we got mixed in there? Something delish. Oh, yeah. Shishé, <laughs> shishé. Bukochi, bukochi. Bukochi, bukochi. Bukochi, bro. I think that means cheers. Cheers. Bukochi. Oh, shishé, shishé. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she she. Oh wow, this is good. Get some. Uh, hello. Yeah. Oh, you got it on there? <laughs> yeah. She she. Yeah, the Kiwi Legend. How are you, bro? Good, brother. You me, finally. The Kiwi Legend. Yeah, the Kiwi yeah. Legend has doing? made it, bro. You got lost on your way here? Oh, <laughs> easy to get lost there. Yeah, no doubt. You're operating just on Wi Fi. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Just three days here, so. And what is it, last day today, or you got a couple more? Mm, two days more. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right, what's what's number one to do here? I'm keen to do the bullet train. Oh, was, bullet train? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice. Um, done a lot, though. Got pretty lucky meeting some people. Yeah, hell yeah. And just the last, yesterday, did the hot pot. Yes, those photos I sent you. Yeah. Was that like a nice massage? Here. The hot pot? No, this is what we're doing now. <laughs> oh, the hot pot. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I thought the hot the pot massage. was where they put the hot pots on the back and then it's kind of oh, like, yeah, uh, yeah, you've done one of those, bro, on, hey, on the bro. street, I think. Maybe we can get a hot pot and a hot pot. <laughs> now you're talking. Hello. All right, well, we had a bit of a translation issue. I did my best to order the uh, food for us and I was like, let's get two of these to start out. And we ended up with three of them plus a uh, mushroom soup and some sort of like floating carrot looking thing <laughs> with peppers. But it looks great, it smells great. Time to eat boys, yalla. Uh, and and how, how does it work with these? We just like grab a piece of that with the chopsticks or do we actually cook that? Uh, you would just, know, right Will? We chuck it into the, uh, chuck it into the drink. Uh, oh, right into the drink. Boil it. All right, let's get get that little shot there, so. We have, to, we have to wait for it to heat oh. up. We took a little break, because I guess we gotta wait for this thing to boil. You can see it's starting to warm up. But honestly, it's pretty wild to look at this. Just look at all these, let's grab one of these ladles. Oh, there's just so many ingredients. Oh, all right, first timer alert. Let's give that thing a little smell here. Most of these flavors I've never had in my life, so it's gonna be hard to describe these, but the only thing I can tell you is this is gonna be the spicy side. I think we've started to mix a bit though. Yeah. Those were not in there when they were delivered. <laughs> As you can see, starting to boil up here. We've got, I think we're starting to get the hang of this. Luckily, since Will had some of this the other night, he knows what to do. I feel like I'm in like a Harry Potter like science experiment. We're like hooking up a potion. Lingardian Leviosa. Smells like it's cooking, so. The next thing is, are we gonna be eating this raw? Or you toss that in there too? Boil that as well. And when does that go in? Now. Now? All right, let's get that thing going. Well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So, here we go. Oh yeah, keep going. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's spicy. Yeah, just kidding, I've done this all the time. We make this back in uh, Wisconsin. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfectly evenly distributed. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> that, one's, that one wanted to go on the oranges. Shishé by Jean. So let's see if we can get ourselves a nice heaping scoop full. We got noodles in there. Oh, cool. Oh, it looks like we got Chinese lasagna going. Uh, there we go. Come on, baby. Stay in this ladle. That looks... Oh. That looks like from the depth of hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the way it's going to go in that mouth, Bro, it's going to be... I think that's going to kill you, how spicy it is. No, it's not that spicy. Nothing. No. Bro. All I see is chili sauce. Uh, so we got it here on the plate now. Made a bit of a mess, so maybe on the next Chinese meal we'll do a little better. But we've got a very interesting combination. The guy, our waiter, which it's hard to ask his name, so we'll just call him our waiter, was able to make us this special concoction, which has like, I don't know, peppers, cilantro, oils, maybe sesame seeds. And he just told me to dump it right on there. So I went straight, full send, right there. We've got the noodles that kind of almost look like a very like thinly sliced lasagna noodle. And this one's just soaking in the peppers. So I'm expecting, oh, I'm expecting this one to be spicy. Whoa. 
<laughs> spicy. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic though, I love spicy. <laughs> Man, my voice is like about to crack because it's so spicy. Ooh. Mm. My nose is already watering. All right. Some places I've been to around the world, when they say something spicy, I've got a pretty decent spice tolerance. And then I'll try it and it won't be that spicy. Now, whatever's in here is, uh, is super spicy, but I'll tell you, it is freaking delicious. Just a nice oily taste, burns your lips, burns the inside of your mouth, on your throat on the way down. You're probably wondering, how does that taste good? Oh, let me tell you, that just makes the flavors pop. And mm, you saw the way I tossed that in there? Like a chef, that beef cooked in there perfectly and pulled it out at the right time. I must say, this was the exact type of Chinese meal. I was looking for. The number one thing I was most excited about coming to China for, besides experiencing it, was trying this food. And I gotta build the tolerance. You can see the uh, stuff coming out of my nose because it's so spicy. But very delicious. We've made some great progress on this. I went through all my noodles. It was really delicious. Lasts about maybe five, six minutes. And it's so spicy in your mouth, like it's burning. You'll have to check out Ali's video to see my like uh, three to five minute reactions after eating it. But uh, this one right here is the cure. That's why I just grabbed just a fresh plate of those. Because when you're eating the orange right after you have something super spicy, I didn't know this before, but I learned it because I was just looking for any way to bring down that spice level. And it just totally cooled the mouth down. So I'm actually ready for round two spice. Like I'm only eating the spice. The other side's mushroom, so miss me with that. Oh. Yeah, this man is not doing well over here. <laughs> I've got the Kim Kardashian look. Oh, bro, yeah, they're turning purple. <laughs> got to pay for these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exa most people can pay for the lip fillers. You just come here before you want to go out. Oh, bro, you look like you got lipstick on. Hey, look at this mushroom, bro. Oh, chow down on that. Not so sure, hot. G double O D, bro. It's good. Good. Oh yeah. The actual the contents of it is good. Just the spice is just freaking a little much. Oh yeah, we'll pay for that tomorrow, no doubt. <laughs> so Will knows exactly what to order. We've had a couple surprises pop into the uh, display here. The one I want to try is this one, and this is uh, smashed rice that has been fried. So apparently it's like sweet, I guess. It'll be a nice break from the spice. So let's try this thing out. That is insane. This is like equivalent to like a Chinese mozzarella stick. That is my first impression. It's like without the cheesy part to it. Like it tastes a little bit like rice, but the outer layer, since it's fried, it tastes, it has that same crunch like a mozzarella stick. I'm shocked how much I like this. I was expecting more of like a bland rice flavor, but on top they have some sort of powder. I think it's maybe like a, I don't know, some sort of sweetening, like sugar or something. Mm. That's a tip for you. For you. CJ. That is $5.78, which is just about $81 for this whole meal, which is great. I mean, that was feeding all four of us. We've still got this entire soup that we could be drinking, but not today. Oh, yeah. Fill that thing right up. Chug. 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 Oh, he's going for it. The man who didn't want any spice now is going for it. Regrets? Oh, it's actually going on much smoother than I expected. <laughs> yeah, there it is. No, it's not too bad. Yeah, it gets the job done though. <laughs> You guys smoking that thing over there? Get a little bit smoke show. Shishay. All right, Shishay. I'd say that was a G triple O D meal. Good. <laughs> that was good. So completely yeah. random. Oh yeah, completely well. random. This was not planned. That was good. Yeah, yeah, that was great. I did not expect that meal to achieve these expectations or literally they exceeded my expectations so much this is where we ate right in this entrance so this is on this main mall road right here you walk in 
You go up not one, but two floors up, and then that's us up there. Absolutely so delicious. We're gonna be going for a lot more food in the upcoming videos. Good morning, good morning, Ni Hao. With the man, the myth, the legend, the British legend. Ni Hao, everyone. And today we are going to take our taste buds on a very special adventure. I've had Chinese food all over the world, but mainly in the US. But of course, every time I've traveled anywhere in the world, the food is always better in the country. Well, at least about 95% of the time. And so far, the meals in China have been amazing. But what better way to experience some delicious Chinese cuisine than go with a local? So we've got a, a guy we are looking for right now. I guess we're meeting him in front of this hotel. And he's going to take us on a three-hour food tour. And then we're going to be having some chow. Is this our guy? Nope. Oh, this is him. Ni hao, ni hao. Ni hao ma. Good to see you. I'm Jim. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to see you too. Oh, you Mac. Mac. Nice to meet you. Oh, we're getting, oh, we're getting in, in trouble is here. Is this supposed to be group plus three or? Uh, yeah, just two today. You can make friend. it. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Anyway, how's your appetite? Oh, oh yeah. it's huge. We're ready to get some uh, good food. Starving, yeah, yeah. And what was your name one more time? Uh, I'm Jim. 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 Jim, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. It's a pleasure. Mac. Harry. Harry. You're from Shanghai? I'm born in Shanghai. Oh, nice. Yes. You're going to eat some Shang Shanghainese food? We'll have at least, I think, uh, four or five places to go and talk to. Oh, oh yeah. Let's, Let's not waste time. Let's start. Let's here. do it. Yes. Are you traveling or I noticed you've been yeah. Yeah. Here, huh? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to get a good video uh, with our good friend Jim here. We're going to very small places, uh, I would say. Oh, I'm ready for it. <laughs> what about you, bro? What kind of. What kind of I think there will be lots of these noodles. Uh, there's also going to be like dumplings, uh, oh. some nice uh, Chinese cheese. Oh, the best! I love dumplings. Me and Jim, my new friend here from Shanghai, we love China. Shanghai, let's go! And also Shanghai food. Right? The Shanghai food, really good. So we're going to be going on an amazing tour with him today, and it's really cool to see a place from a local's eyes because obviously you're gonna see places that you can't find as easy if you're looking up on like things to do videos online or you know some of these other places where people find information. Jim's gonna take us to places that you have never seen before and I'm so excited. And this belly is ready. We've only had coffees today. We've hit the gym, so we've got plenty of room. Are you hungry today too, Jim? 100%. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. We're gonna be doing dumplings. We're gonna be doing a little duck in there, some specialties and some of the spiciest food for an American standard, medium yeah. spicy for Chinese for, standard, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be great. Ready for this. What's your favorite thing about Shanghai? Shanghai, the, the city is quite open-minded, very liberal. Like yeah. All the possible choices of food, not just local food. Yeah. So it's a massive city of 25 million people. Wow. So anything you like, uh, whether it's like um, the spicy flavor, some Sichuan cuisine, or Shanghai ding sang, this uh, very nice dumpling you're gonna eat. Uh, pan fried, steamed, boiled, Oh. Stir fry. Oh, 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 oh. English, we all call it dumpling. You're but dumpling. Yeah. My love language right now. <laughs> they have the individual name, so I will try to brief you their the real name. On the yeah. internet, people call it like soup dumpling or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's confusing. Yeah, it is confusing too. And, and the, the, the name for dumpling is. Uh, the most popular number one would definitely the Xiaolongbao. Xiaolongbao? Xiaolongbao. 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 Exactly. Xiaolongbao. Exactly. Oh, Xiaolongbao. Oh yeah, we gotta practice on that. The internet, my hashtag XLB. Oh, XLB. Which is uh, the short name for uh, Shalom Pao. Uh, Shalom Pao. Well, we're gonna have some de delicious Shalom Pao, incorrectly called dumpling. So we're gonna change that perception today. Let's go. Brief you about what we experienced in the past um, three years and a half, almost four years. That every not now, huh? In the past three years, every one or two days, we must do the PCR test to have bring house code so that you can go to the public places, restaurants, malls, offices, or take the public transportation. Oh, okay. That Still. means, not now, not okay, now. No, no. We're speaking about the past three years. Okay. That means that uh, if you really like the food, you want to sit down to enjoy the food. Yes, you can, but you're taking big risk. Oops. People are not scared about being affected with the virus. They're more worried about the inconvenience. That yeah. if I'm eating with you, I don't know you, man. But I mean, for me, I would be feel very gu guilty that yeah. uh, we all been quarantined for two weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. So there's a bit of that like uh, saving face culture where you want to make sure that you're yeah. being respectful to others. In China, it's definitely a bit like uh, public shame. And even before COVID, people love to wear masks. Even now, people wear masks, mm, just like yeah. being polite. Yeah. Mm. Keep distance, but just make sure even I catch cold, you're not going to be 
influence. Oh, oh good. So it's really the mask culture is now ingrained in Chinese culture now. All the time, before COVID. But before COVID, yeah. Oh, before. Because I remember I was I was in um, some other countries in the region. I was in Japan, um, in Tokyo area. I also, oh, I went to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people wore masks well before the pandemic, which I thought was interesting because I'd never seen people wear masks. Yeah. So I remember when the pandemic happened and, you know, people started wearing masks on the other side of the world. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I never knew the reason why, though. I thought maybe it was because of pollution or something like that. Some worry that because when you take public transportation, it's literally close, close yeah. uh, squeezing inside. And yeah. you don't want uh, some like bad smell from the food you eat. Maybe garlic, maybe chili oil. Oh, oil. yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah you, like you, you don't want to be around this guy after oh, he's had garlic. Like Middle name Dragon Breath. We're arriving to the first restaurant right now and it's gonna be delish. Oh and we have arrived. It looks like this is Noodles Central right here. So it's a local spot. Oh yeah. Walk in and you can smell the goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Tight fit today. We're not the only ones who want to get some uh, delicious noodles today, bro. You're from Shanghai? No. Where are from? UK and US. Ni uh hao. -huh. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How's the food? Best food in Shanghai? Yeah. Oh yeah, some noodles and some meats very, in there. Very, very, very amazing. You oh, here with oh, your oh. family? No, it's from my girlfriend. Oh, ah, yeah. very nice. Awesome. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy the meal. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, the biggest part of the city. Going to easily fall in love. Uh, people are very nice and friendly. Yeah, very nice and friendly here. And uh, how many people speak English here? Like, what percentage? I cannot give you the official answer because it also depends on like people where they're from. Yeah. But obviously that uh, he's from North Eastern Central China, speak well, right? Yeah, yeah very yeah, good very English, good. yeah. Oh. So these are the topping that we're going to put on the noodle. My German friends sometimes call that like... Um, schnitzel. Schnitzel. Yeah. Oh, Japanese schnitzel. Japanese friends call that like um, tonkatsu. Okay. Uh, we call that Shanghai pork chop. Oh, that's like fried? The difference uh, will be the sauce to drip on it, so which is close by the window. I'll later open it. I'll later like grab it uh, to show you. All right, that sounds great. We're waiting for the for the noodle, but you can also like stand up and look around. Uh, all the rest of the customer, what they what do they order? Some are the soup noodles, some are the dry noodles. Yeah. If you are curious about uh, yeah, are you yeah, celebrity yeah. or not, yeah, you can also get closer. No worry, huh? Yeah, I, think I, they have I tried to smile, yeah. but she looked at me like I'm an alien. <laughs> no, he just like don't know how to catch up. Oh, they're just not used to seeing. Some probably don't no. speak much English, so yeah, yeah. Okay. they're just like curious. What's something I can say to them? Yeah. Uh, how are you? No, yeah. I think that'll be fine. No, in, what's just that? Like, in English will be fine. In English? Okay. You can try because uh, maybe they speak English but they just don't know how to open a conversation. Okay. okay. The way we greet people is a little bit different. Okay. So, well, yeah, what do you say to like what explain the interaction to we greet people? We normally start a conversation by asking about mm -hmm. food. So like did you do anything man? That'll be the way we open up the conversation. Okay. Oh. Or you can say like uh, Oh did you eat anything? Ah, I read this somewhere, yeah. Really? That's that's like almost a way of saying like how are you? Did you yeah yeah, I, I, I don't remember where I heard this not too yeah. long ago. But like you walk up to someone on the street, oh did you eat anything today? But wow. in, in Mandarin, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably not going to respond to her because otherwise it would be a big conversation. What really? I eat, I'm going to tell you. Maybe I eat very <laughs> lots of food with my whole family. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start using that yeah, yeah. back home. What did you eat today? Yeah, that's a great convo starter. Yeah, all that, uh, uh, what do you prepare for tonight? Oh. Again, it's about like uh, the dinner, the food. Yeah. From, the history, from the history that China used to have lots of these famine, natural disasters. So food is uh, everyone's concern. You must eat three meals a day. That's very important. Yeah, wow. That's really nice. So look closer that what we got here is a sweet potato, the dry tofu, with a little bit chili oil. The main dish I order here will be the scallion oil noodle or spring onion oil noodle. Oh. The deep fried canola oil, like soy sauce. Noodle is made from the wheat flour. We also got pickled water spinach. This is classic in the morning. We also put on the rice kanji, it's like oh rice God. porridge. This probably gonna be your favorite chow. We call it uh, Yu Xiang Rou. Oh. Mm. Smells good. Huh? Smells so good. Or that it's, um, we sometimes uh, translate into the fish sauce pork. But um, 
nothing to do with the fish. It's more like the vinegar sauce. Uh, the highlights are bye bye. still fried. Bye bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Shishi. Yes, oh, thank you very much. Shishé. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow. Yeah, this is the most interaction we've gotten yeah, so far. Yeah, 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 this is great. We just had to be with Jim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, places like this is also like people living around, uh, walk around, uh, so they like definitely understand your curiosity about Chinese food, and they appreciate that eating the local restaurant because uh, Shanghai has been covered by all the shopping. Mm. You see that they're everywhere. Oh, okay. We have over a thousand Starbucks, not to mention about Lots Starbucks. Lots of Starbucks. McDonald's. Only in Shanghai. We don't want McDonald's. Sorry, not this. today. Huh? Yeah, not yeah, today. Not today. <laughs> today that we only eat the, the local cuisine. Oh, look at that. So sometimes in the Chinese culture, they don't have a fork and knife at these places, so they use the chopsticks to do a little slice and dice. Well, we've got this one ready to be eaten. Step one is going to be stir this thing up. Got to get those flavors in there. And no, knives and forks are not common here. So good thing is, right before I arrived to Shanghai, I actually went to a Chinese restaurant, and I got my skill set here. All ready. You're gonna say you took a lesson? <laughs> no, I didn't take a lesson, but I, it's like I did. I yeah. Took my bell there on a date. So. And also, there's no standard about how to eat a noodle perfectly or how to use a chopsticks properly. That all the oh, matches like that? get from point A to point B. That oh, makes it that, extremely stuff. Get that whole thing in. Get it in. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's exactly what local people in Shanghai do. Whoa. Oh, that one was a lot to get down the throat. But that is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, that, that has exceeded expectations. We've got like an oily, I guess like uh, sauce overall, almost you, you have that like soy sauce flavor to it. I don't know if that's the right way to describe it. Mixed in there and it just slides right down the throat. So tasty. We got to get a little bit of that meat mixed in. Mm. I think we've got some potatoes in there. Is that a beef? Sweet potato and a dried tofu. Oh, yeah. And with beef, oh, tofu in there. Oh, okay. So we've got a little vegetarian option going on today. And this isn't going to be our healthy meal of the day, but it's perfect because the first meal of the day needs to be the one that's going to fill those taste buds. One more big bite. Ah. Uh, <laughs> mm. That's the whole thing done. That is impressive. You are a hungry man. Oh yeah, almost about to say another pasta, done. <laughs> oh yeah, one big piece of fried pork right there. We'll grab that thing with the chopsticks. Mm. Oh my gosh. Fried to perfection. They, they slurp the noodle? People stop the noodle just because I taste better, because that your tip of thumb is the most sensitive part. Oh. Especially you have a soup noodle, look like behind that? you. Let's do it. Look behind oh, you, you finished. The... I finished mine off. You can dry mine anyway. <laughs> okay, so we got to show you. We've got to show the aunties that we like the meal. So we're going to slurp the oh. noodles to show we like it. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if my dad would like that. He never liked when I slurped the uh, drinks at the table. That sounds but they fun. love it here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you got to make sure you don't breathe it in. <laughs> in China, that uh, we mm. have the table manner, so every every time we're eating in restaurants, it's quite easy going. Oh, it's your wow. food, the food you order, so you do yeah. whatever you like. That is, and you can so see cool. how tiny the restaurant is. Uh, sometimes you have no other choice. You are sitting close by. Wow. And that I would say is one of the most interesting <laughs> things that there aren't like all of this like table etiquette and things like that. I will say, after traveling the last four years. Sometimes I'll come back to the U.S. and I'll be like eating at dinner and I'll realize maybe sometimes I'll have my elbow on the table or I'll just be eating like, I don't know, I'll grab something with my hands because in places all around the world there's different etiquette. But I must say that is an amazing thing about Shanghai is that you can just eat it how you want. Like, and that makes sense. It's your meal. Eat it how you want. Make a bunch of noise. Make a little noise. Put it all over your face. Just get it going, you know? It's, yeah. like, it's my meal and I want yeah. it. So I guess the most popular meat is pork. That's what Jim was just telling us, that here in all or all over China, when you order something, it is most commonly going to be pork on the menu. Over 50%, 60% of meat consumption will be the pork. Wow. But in particular, like um, vegetarian choices, it's everywhere. We just don't say vegetarian. Like this topping is purely like just tofu and uh, sweet potato. 
But yeah, technically it still falls under the uh, vegetarian category. Yeah. No, face off. Yeah. Okay. Roasted duck. Next. Oh, okay. Shishé, shishé. Very, very delicious food. Jim, you're, ta you're taking care of these taste buds very well today. <laughs> some of the first stop. Yeah, oh yeah. There's uh, some the signs in Shanghai you cannot easily park, so some drivers are smart. They'll be like open the back, the trunk, oh, and yeah. show the camera in the corner that you're still eating. You're still like loading something, then quickly go. Oh, oh no way. So, so they do that so people think they're just loading, but actually they're getting a quick bite to eat. Yeah, no way. <laughs> yeah, that's Drop awesome. I was wondering, I've noticed a lot of people have their trunks open, and now I'm never going to be able to unsee that. Look at here, here. Uh, that just goes to show you how safe this city is, because I mean, there's people's stuff right in there, and they just leave it in, go out, and get a bite to eat. Cheeky, cheeky, as Harry would say. So, you probably heard news the public market are not doing well. Are the public markets not doing well? But in Shanghai, the demand is always solid. The expensive uh, uh, sides of the city are just in front of us. And they're the just constantly small. building? Yeah, constantly building. Price will be, this whole area is called Casa Lake Vale, will be almost uh, like 20,000 US dollars per square meters. Wow. So sometimes as Chinese or locals in Shanghai will be jealous that people in no matter like a mm. suburb um, UK or like um, in US have a big house. And they'll, they'll buy it here? Uh, not here, oh, maybe okay. in the suburb, but oh, here okay. is for some of the most successful Chinese. Oh, okay. Wow. That is very expensive. So you said $20,000 per square meter? In the city center of Shanghai. That in the, the city center. Place. That is insane. And uh, also, oh. I'm going to ask uh, the chef inside to, to like, slice it nicely. You can oh. photo it. Oh, let's do that. So this is going to be our next spot. I don't know exactly what that says, but one thing I do know is that that is some delish duck. What? Let's do this. Duck? What the duck, bro? <laughs> what the duck? <laughs> Me and you both trying to make puns. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Ooh, yeah. This is the angle when she will be using the cleaver to cut meat off the bone. So mm. big difference in China, when we eat chicken, duck, goose, all the birds, we eat the whole animal, or half animal, because we want to see that it's uh, fresh. Ooh. It's not like freeze or uh, wild. Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. <laughs> she's gonna like come take one. Duck. Oh, she's gonna get a fresh one. That's a full duck. Wanna have half one? We're gonna call him Donald. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Donald. <laughs> she's the only person. Oh, so her husband's taking uh, taking oh, so a break in the afternoon. It's a family business. Yeah. You can also have good angle from the other side if oh. you have two cameras, so you can like, swap the video. Huh? And look at this. She's just pulling that thing apart there with the hook. Oh, and just chopping it. That looks so delicious. I think that's the head. Huh? And chopping half. it right in half. And there we go. Sliced and diced. We are almost ready. Top will be actually Chinese tea. Ooh, Chinese what? Tea. Tea, ooh, a little tea to get the pallets ready for the next meal. So we've got our duck in hand. Oh, and we're already here. That was a quick, oh, we're taking a little six pack for Harry? <laughs> Let's do it. Six pack. <laughs> so we've got the duck from the takeaway, and now we're gonna buy some cigarettes. No, I'm joking. We're gonna buy some Chinese tea. Ni hao ma. Ooh, all right. She won't go down My friend asked her, where are you from? I said that you're a celebrity on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> United States, United Kingdom. Yeah. You're from Yingua. Uh, oh, you uh, in Chinese, Yingua uh, means a beautiful city. In Chinese, Yingua, United Kingdom, meaning like... Um, Bad city. It's more like serious. Ying is more like... Um, uh, yeah, serious uh, in Chinese meaning. So, a little bit uh, serene. Oh, serene. serene. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't call the UK serene, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's a Chinese uh, name. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. So the way we balance it from the unhealthy flavor when we're eating the oily noodle is always going to be a little bit Chinese tea. And oh. that's um, how China 200 years ago has been forced to embrace globalization when we trade with the rest of the world. Mm, mm, we got mm. a medicinal tea with all the ingredients. How many you recognize? Dandelion right oh, there? Oh, that's a chrysanthemum flower. Oh, that right. yeah. was close. That was what, close. What about <laughs> the uh, uh, apple? 
Uh, date. Oh, if date, you have yeah. some like uh, Saudi friends, uh, the yeah, spice, yeah. the tea, the brew, oh, or, yeah. like, Turkish friends, or remember the hot pot you had in the soup. They always put the date. A little bit like natural sweetness. Mm. Let's have you take a guess at one of these. I'm zero for two, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, plum. No. Uh, Close. It's uh, dried lungenberry. Have you ever had the uh, lychee? Yeah, I've heard of it. Like, you like, might have some like fantastic cocktail with lychee. Yeah, I've heard oh, of it. lychee, lychee, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That so is delicious. Yeah. This is some chocolate. Oh, look closer. <laughs> it looks like candy, yes, but in fact, they all belong to this type of black tea. We oh, is that a brownie? Uh, Pua. Oh, that's tea. Or tobacco. Oh, that's tea? Oh, I thought yeah. that was a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that looks tasty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is where we're sharing how we're typical tourists. <laughs> What's the uh, official name for delicious? Something. Uh, first, that we say different when it comes to food and drink. So for food, that would be hao chi. Hao chi. For hao drinks, chi. no matter tea, water, like um, uh, beer, we always say hao hu. Hao hu. Uh, yeah. Or you could say tai hao la. That would be great, yes. Okay. Tai hao la. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she likes it. That's more like a very, very personal, very natural way. Like normally, like between friends, you say that. Oh. Or like give a huge compliment, you say that. Okay. Mm. Well, I think today we're going to be friends. Tai hao la. But when we drink the Chinese tea, we don't put milk, we don't put sugar. We always drink in the warmer, hot temperature. Oh. We always uh, use the loose leaf. All natural, just how we like it. She's been mixing around these concoctions like yeah, a little potion. I noticed that earlier that you t probably see it from the video. My friend first like uh, wash the dust off the leaf, rinse the cups, warm up the cups before we start to drink. See all the leaves mm. inside, slowly yeah. opening. And my friends uh, quickly brew it so that we don't taste the bitterness in the end. Oh. Especially Puar, this type of black tea is really good for the digestions. If mm. you have heavy meal or that if you get little dehydration from the drinks at night. Oh. Well, as we say, oh. uh, Kung Pao? Uh, that would be alcohol when we say Ganbei. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy. Choose. Yeah, you're doing correct. I don't know where you learn it. Have you prepared or? What, the, sl the slurping? Yes. No, it was just so like... hot I almost burned my tongue. But okay, that's a compliment? Yes. That's very smart. <laughs> yeah. Very oh, smart. You're so kind, Frank. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. She loves it. Typical uncle's uh, ways to drink the tea properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a nice ASMR sound there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can also take a look at the other angle. So in China, we don't drink uh, tap water. We either boil the water or like we use uh, the mineral water to make the tea, which mm. quality is better. You probably is okay drinking the water in your hotel, but I mean, why taking a risk? In China, that sometimes there be a few like uh, water pollution issues. Oh, okay. Mm. So it's safer okay. than to uh, boil it first, always. Yeah. And you may notice yeah. when landing from the airport, always to be hot water refill that many Chinese bring a summer bottle with a loose sleeve. They want to relax uh, after a long flight. Mm. And a nice cup of tea will take care of that. And notice the color is getting darker. So we're drinking light to strong flavor, slowly. The little cubes like that could be 23 years old for man from 2000. 2000, so that's expensive. Um, it's a regular, but kind of expensive with behind these tea discs. Oh, wow. Dark, oh. In China, we also say tea, cigarettes, <laughs> like, alcohol. He's stealing. Hey, come back. Yeah. That's a uh, hot Spencer. <laughs> Please. <laughs> He's stealing cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> he just grabbed them right out of there. <laughs> Smart oh, man. man. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a uh, tea. <laughs> it's actually quite common in the in the small city. People drink tea with a cigarette. So you invite mm. it to your friend's house. They make the tea for you. You share a piece of cigarette to become friends. Oh. It's just in the big city, it's very strict with the indoor smoking. Oh, okay. Yes. So, in cities outside of Shanghai, people smoke indoors in restaurants. But in I Shanghai, think that's quite common. Even in Shanghai, you might have sometimes get bad luck in the fancy five-star hotel. You still smell. Probably the most expensive city in the mainland China. Shanghai is the most expensive, yeah. And everyone love it. There's a easily many reason you fall in love with it. But reality, reality is that uh, it's hyper competitive. Long office hour. For people to sit down, have a cup of tea like what we're doing now, that's a pure luxury. Mm. Because it's common what the famous founder of uh, Alibaba, Jack Ma said. Mm. 996, meaning working from 9 
a.m. finish 9 p.m. six days a week. Your supervisor, your manager in the office will not be happy drinking tea like this. Really? Mm. Which is our cultural tradition. Mm. Oh, wow. Your culture. Wow. And what's the, what's the dating culture like in China? Is it the Chinese people usually get married quite young? Uh, I would say people in the rural China will be uh, married very young. Yeah, but people in a big city that's uh, very late, okay. very very late. Because uh, when you work almost six days a week, where to find a date, or that do you have the patience to have a date or have a drink or enjoy a good meal, or maybe that it's easy to be spoiled when all the takeaway, when you see all the scooter drivers being delivering the food to you in less than thirty forty minutes, mm. it's easy wow. to be spoiled in Shanghai. Yeah. Oh yeah. We've noticed the delivery drivers running to yeah. get their orders. Yeah. It's amazing. Literally everything you want, it could be delivered. Yeah. And how is it when it comes to marriages? Do the parents help make the decision or is it fully dating well, on the In Shanghai, own? I think we are very open. We are very liberal. So people find their own husband and wife. Is, uh, they don't need to expand too much. Just like give heads up uh, when things are ready. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty similar to like American British you, culture. I would say that, but if you talk about Chinese people from like rural China or tier three, tier four city, sometimes uh, one or two relatives at home will make a big objection, or that they would rather to see people marry from the same city or the same town. Oh mm. wow! Yeah. And how common is it for Chinese locals to marry foreigners? Uh, that's actually okay. And they're okay with it? It's okay. The parents usually, yeah. There's no difference from marrying a Chinese yeah. or husband and wife, I would say. Yeah. At yeah. least a modern time now. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very nice. Is, do you feel like the general perception of Chinese people is they, they like foreigners? or they... I cannot give you a clear answer, but um, personally I would say many Chinese are also growing, getting more and more nationalistic. Uh, we have limited access to what happening to the rest of the world. Mm. And people could be easily mislead or or the only perspective view we have is from the state media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's it, you don't have the time to follow because uh, like I told you, people work very long hours uh, in the offices. Yeah, yeah. They don't want you care. Yeah. In yeah. general. Yeah. Wow. So that's fascinating. Traditional Chinese uh, man said that the philosophy is simple, we believe. Food and drink, uh, that's medicine. The noodle is uh, oily and healthy. We balance it back. Mm. Mm, yeah, that is a nice balance. Oh, that one's like a nice. Would you? This is one's lychee. Oh no, lungonberry, licorice, orange peel, rose petal, dates, mm. chrysanthemum flower. Oh, this is this one. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. This one's nice and smooth. No milk or sugar. any additive yeah. sugar in it. All natural. You can look behind so all the ingredients we mm. use. Yeah, that's that's really nice because it almost feels like it's sweetened just from some of the. Uh, yeah. Organic Which why I told you we might wait 10 minutes. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some brown sugar and the uh, seasonal autumn or smensus flower. I think this is going to be my favorite. Ginger, yeah, if something's got ginger in it yeah. and sugar. Oh, that's how uh, you know it's going to be good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. There's nothing better than ginger when it, when it goes through your throat and you just kind of get that the spiky feeling in the back. I don't know how to explain when you drink some ginger, but this one's one we're gonna slurp right down. Ah, that's what we call delish. <laughs> All, right. All of the tea, Tai Haula. Shishe, shishe. Thank you so much. So, so nice, honestly. Dude. This is a great example where even if you don't speak the same language perfectly, you can just feel that energy from how nice that woman was that made us all those teas. You can tell she does it with passion. The flavors are great. What the duck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Saw one of the ducks again. Yeah, there he is. Jim's holding out on us. He's got the good <laughs> stuff in front of us. Yeah, probably Jim. Have, we're probably going to have it with some other really nice local craft to be. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, nice. Well, I can tell you the good thing is, is you know you're not going to lose us walking around because if Jim's got the duck in hand, we're going to be following very closely. Mm. <laughs> so we're walking towards our a next place. A way market? A wet market. A wet market. Oh, and what does a wet market mean? Meaning places people find freshest vegetable, meat, uh, pork, beef, chickens, sometimes tree food. Oh, on the way. yeah. A little bit of everything then. Yeah. 
I'm ready. But given that uh, COVID spread earlier in 2020, so right now all the wet markets in dark are like uh, prepared. Oh, you really? Cannot buy live animals. Oh, there used to be live animals yeah. here. Oh, okay. This will be our pancakes. We got pancakes right inside of here. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we got world's greatest pancakes here. This is a pancake I think will get you many likes on the internet. Um, oh, this really? is the most famous street food uh, in Shanghai. Is that a guarantee? Yeah. Most famous street food in Shanghai. Whoa, he just cracked an egg on the top of that thing. Look at that. So it's got the same thickness as a crepe, but he just in runs Chinese, that egg uh, we call it up. Jim Beam. Sounds like uh, the spirit's Jim Beam. Oh, Jim Beam. Like the Jim Beam. Yeah. Oh. Jim Beam. Oh. The Jim Beam spring of Jim Beam. Onion. Spring onion. This Brand is, this is like something that I can make, oh. I'd make back home. This oh. is iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not, a must. not as good as this. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have some of the sauces. Uh, a little mix and match. Yeah. This is like a breakfast item. Traditional breakfast, so like early afternoon snacks. Oh, our favorite. So kids finish school so early on the way back home. Grandparents take them past by wet market. And I'm also gonna ask him for a slice of marinated pork. Marinated oh. pork to mix it in. Oh, that, Man, Jim, you know what exactly. you're doing here. That's so the good that's stuff. That's the pork, I see. Oh, that. and he flips it. Lajau, my friend, add chili. Oh, we'll paint that right on there. This looks insane. Oh, that's a little bit spicy right there. I saw you sneak that in. And that's a fried picket, uh, pick, uh, sorry, a fried um, a buckaroo biscuit. Oh, nice. Oh. Which is your secret. Oh, secret, yeah. yeah. Look at that Michelle. thing. It looks like a burrito. Yeah. Oh, right. That thing got way it's bigger insane. than I expected it to be. How much is this one? It's quite simple, 7 or 10 yuan. 10 yuan, wow. 10 yuan. 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 Good food is always affordable. That's for oh, local. Yeah. Huh? She 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 yeah, many local neighborhoods these days been renovated, so could be the elevator they built for the grandparents' generations. Oh, wow. So this is like an older building, and this front part is just being added on for elevators. Yeah. For the older population. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. So you'll see that all over Shanghai to the old building? Uh, these days it's happening because um, the population is aging fast. Oh, okay, wow. Many grandparents they cannot climb like six stories. That's just exhausting for them every day. Wow, yeah. And that brings me to another question. There used to be a law about how many kids you could have? Right now it's a three child, part of, part of three child in Shanghai. Three child, and then is that different in every region in China? Uh, I'm not sure the rest of China, but Shanghai's a three, but most three. family would rather have just a one. Yeah, because Two is already a lot of pressure, Yeah. whether financially or that you find someone to take care of. Oh, right, because the working culture is a, it's very just busy. It's insane, yeah. yeah. Most of the time, the tradition required the grandparents to take care. These days, the grandparents are also being very independent. They love to enjoy their own life. They have good pension. Why spending? Why spending on the yeah. family? Oh, that's fascinating. And so, guys, if you're seeing here, you probably noticed that some of the cars going by have different colored license plates. The blue ones right there are internal combustion plates, and the green plates, which we'll see some in a few moments, those are electric vehicles. Just a few years back, only two percent of the vehicles in Shanghai were electric. Now, forty percent. 40% guys, 40% electric vehicles. And Jim's telling us that Teslas here are the cheapest. So if you're thinking about if moving to Shanghai. If you drive Tesla in Shanghai, I'm sorry, you, are, you will be regarded as someone without taste for life. <laughs> so no the way. interior no way. is nothing. And if you're buying Chinese EV, later we're gonna experience the most famous uh, BYD. Really? And they're cheap, they're good, they're fancy. They have great software. Their screen inside smooth as like uh, our iPhones. Wow, wow. What's Neo like? Neo. Uh, a good one. Oh, so right here, there's one of the uh, green license plates right there. So that's a pretty fascinating perspective that essentially, if you have a Tesla here, which in most other countries around the world, Tesla's like a really high-end quality car. Here, it's like you don't have good taste because they have so many more options. So it'll be fascinating if we can see what's inside a 
uh, electric vehicle here, some of the electric vehicles, because they have so many. So we are arriving to our next stop, which is the fruit market. And these are vibrant red strawberries right in front. And Shanghai. All, Shanghai strawberries. And I will say, when I'm at an American supermarket, sometimes I have to look through to make sure I don't pick a pack of strawberries that you know aren't looking as tasteful. These, all of them, I'm looking all around here, and they all look super fresh. And we're just filling that air with some delish fruity smells. Oh, he's going straight in for it. Cheers, boys. Oh, thank you, Jim. And one question, is Jim your uh, local name? Good question. So, uh, in fact, that one Chinese parents name their children, uh, the vocabulary they choose uh, is more than the English vocabulary. So it happens in the big city, people would rather choose uh, to choose an English name so that we don't have any problem understanding or remembering each other. Oh, so my Chinese name is Wang Jian, which we put the family name in the front. Family name first and then... Exactly. So the my name. Chinese name is Jian. But instead of like uh, me help you pronounce it in Jian, Jian, it takes a while, oh, right? Jim. Jian. So Jim sounds like easy. Jim, yeah, Jim. Jim sounds easier. Yeah, very nice. All right, let's try this thing out. Mm. <laughs> mm. I've never eaten that much of a strawberry at once, but oh my gosh, honestly not just saying this, that might easily be one of the best strawberries I've ever had. It's sweeter than other strawberries. And I don't know if it's just because these were farmed super well, but they taste so good. I can imagine that in a strawberry smoothie. Strawberry smoothie, yummy, yummy. yummy. <laughs> we also got these are the one of the ingredients in the tea that we have, uh, uh, which we call that long yen or the longan berry. Very similar to lychee, but less sweeter. This is import from Thailand. In Chinese, long yen meaning dragon's eyeball. A dragon's eyeball? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. We can peel it. Uh, can I just eat the whole thing? Oh, you can peel it. Oh, so. peel it off? Okay. Slice sweet. Go and eat the whole thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a seat inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, there a bit. Go, come go here. Oh, wow. Go and eat that eyeball, bro. I don't know. Also, what's your Chinese name? My Chinese... It would be Candy Mac. My Chinese name would be... Candy Mac... Uchan? <laughs> there you go. All right, let's get this thing popped right open, bro. Oh, look at that. A dragon's eyeball. Oh, my God. Huh? <laughs> oh, there's this. Oh, there's a little guy in there. That's eyeball. You eat this one, too? Oh, we don't. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Made it. That is tasty. Like nothing I've ever had for fruits. Just an exotic flavor. It's a lighter fruit, fruit, super juicy. But I like that. A dragon's eye. I'm gonna remember that. Next up, we got ourselves a little clementine. What do you think? I can toss it up and catch it in my mouth? Oh, yeah. I'll give you uh, five yen. Oh, yeah. Five yen right mm. there. That's how you make a little extra money. <laughs> Harry, fork it over. <laughs> no, but this is really good. I don't know if this is quality consistent across the entire region of China, but I'll tell you, the first place that I've went to to have fruit here, everything from the colors to the juiciness. Look at that. It's like you can make a little clementine juice. Or no, what is it? Mandarin? Mandarin. Similar to a clementine though, yeah? I think it's a, it's a different name for it. Mm. But this one, it is so juicy and it's seedless. It's perfect, huh? That's so freaking good. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little smoother than like lemon tines, mandarins I've had. Very good. So we're gonna take you a little bit further inside so you can see what it looks like, but this is the most impressive fruit market I have ever seen. And you just walk through here and like there's fruits you've never seen that looks kind of like an apple. We've got these massive, massive grapes right there. Like, look at that. Oh, Jim the man. All right, look at that thing. That's, that is insanely large. That's about maybe four times the size of a normal grape. Let's give that thing a little taste test. All right, and there's uh, seedless grapes in here? Seedless. All right. Wow. That is so impressive right there. Mm. That's crazy good. 
And people have these instead of having desserts. It ha it's common, yeah. You can also see the fruit basket that people send as a perfect gift when they're visiting the grandparent generations. Oh, okay. So you bring that as a nice gift. Yes. One question I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. So in, in America, we have the tipping culture. We tip for a haircut. We give a tip for a restaurant. We give a tip in many places. They're tipping in... In China, normally people don't. Especially going to small places. They, they do not understand that the intention of you doing it. But if you go to like fancy... Uh, there is a rooftop bar or like a hotel, five star hotel. Sometimes they force you to. Oh, then you have to. Yeah. But if, if you give, if you give, let's say a street food vendor a tip, will they take that? They probably smile at you, like um, they the, think that uh, you are happy. giving them the dress as a change. That's oh. fine. And they're, so happy. They, they're happy with it, okay. It, but you need to know that they're independent shop owner or that uh, it's um, just a chain that they just work as a regular employee. Mm -mm. And it, then they're going to be even happier because yeah. they're making extra And they don't say anything. Mm. It's like um, a message sent to show gratitude. See? Okay, so they interpret it positively. Yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect. Lemon, whoa. <laughs> they put in some There's no way this is, this is not a lemon, bro. Let me see. This is the this is a grapefruit. This is bigger than a grapefruit. This is the size of your head, bro. Oh, it's a grapefruit, yes. Oh. oh yeah, I was gonna say, bro. This is a grapefruit. This is why Harry never works in the produce section back in the UK. Hell oh, <laughs> Look at it. Video that how my Oh, look at that. Chop, chop, slice, and dice. Wow. They get your hand stuck in there. And, oh, there we go. So we're at about three pomegranates in there, and that almost fills up one cup of pomegranate juice. And we're going for a fourth. That really takes some serious effort. Can I try it? She's working super strong. No? All right, not today, not today. I'm probably not strong enough. I got to go to the gym a couple more times, right, Jim me? <laughs> and look at this thing. Wow. What do you even call that? That's a. Uh, oh, that's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit? That's a fruit. Have you had that before? Do people ever eat the dragon fruit with the dragon eye? Uh, sometimes they put in a smoothie or like bubble tea. Oh, a smoothie! There we go. That's a special concoction. We'll call it the Max smoothie. And you, everyone pays with Alipay. Alipay, WeChat pay. No cash. So, uh, you can use cash, but right? just like a shop owner will like sometimes have no chance to give it to you. They don't mm -hmm. use it. They don't use cash power. Yeah, that's amazing. That's one of my favorite parts about China is just having a cashless society. It makes life so much easier. And for a local business or a well-established business, it just saves so much time if you can scan. Because otherwise, I mean, I've worked in restaurants, I've worked in grocery stores, you know, before I became a YouTuber, and I know how much time it is just at the end of the day to count all the cash, to make sure there was no cash missing from employees, all these steps. So you just think about how efficient that is to just pull up the app, scan it, goes directly into their bank accounts, done. Speaking of done, we're about to take out a nice delicious pomegranate juice. Another pomegranate juice done. done. Okay. Oh yeah, that is great. And that's a, a much sweeter version. I was just talking to Harry about it. He's done a little uh, pomegranate tasting in Afghanistan. I tried some in <laughs> Iraq and over there, the, there's a much more bitter taste. Here it's sweeter. It really aligns with a lot of these. I'm, I'm wondering if that's just the difference in the farming techniques or the types of soils, because just everything just almost feels not more sugary, but equivalent to that type of like sweeter taste. So that's fantastic. The natural sweetness. And the natural sweetness. Yeah, yeah. That's why they don't need the uh, sweeteners in the sugar or in the tea, because it's just so much more naturally sweet. It is time to try out this delish pancake. And it feels very similar to an egg but it's obviously mixed in with that batter. Obviously there's egg in it, that's why I feel similar, but... Oh, that smells so good. Let's go in for it. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Holy crap, that is incredibly delicious. Harry's literally drooling right now. You can't see the cameraman, oh, but... Yeah, he's, it's like all over his shirt and everything. But right there, as you can see, we've got those layers, and on the inside we've got that crunch. So it's opposite of what I've had, like burritos and things like that. It's got a similar style of, you know, putting everything together. But on the outside, it's chewy. On the inside, it's crunchy. And it is so good. A very light spice. Our man put a little bit of chili um, pepper in there or something like that. And, mmm. Oh, I had that crunch. Mmm. Mmm.
This might be my favorite thing I've had in China so far. There's just something about it. Flavors mixed in together. I love this. This is a must, a must in China. Well, we've got the European churches right up there. And, Big event and uh, starting. One, one question. When it comes to uh, religion yep. in China, or let's say at least in Shanghai, what are the different uh, percentages of, let's say, I think that's Catholic Church over there. There's atheist. no official answer for that, but I think it's quite easy going to follow your own religion. Nobody will have problems. With it. Oh, that's great. It could be another issue if you're getting married with someone, but I guess that's the same in Western country. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Oh, that's great to hear. So yeah, we are arriving here, and as you can see, everything is done perfectly. The gardens, some like metal accent uh, pieces mixed in there, and a deck that's bringing us into this. Really unique place, having a nice Ni Hao Ma. Yeah, really friendly people. I think that's such a cool part. I've said this probably three or four times since the four days I've gotten here. But after coming here and you know, just like kind of smiling to people, you you can still feel this like excitement that we're here. They just don't necessarily know maybe how to speak English or how to interact. And one thing that we learned from Jim, which I remember hearing and after he told me that I was like, ah, that's right. Because they don't say like, hey, how are you? They say like, oh, did you eat today? What are you having for supper? That's their way of like greeting someone, which is, you know, obviously a much different type of uh, conversation starter. Look at this good boy right there. Big boy. Oh. Really? Nihoma. Can you oh, he's a good boy. I can pet? Good boy. Fit? Good boy? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a polar bear. Oh, yeah, he's a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good boy. Good boy. Oh. oh, he's a big guy. I've never seen a dog like this in my life. <laughs> yeah. He's a full-on bear. Wow. You're a good boy. He thinks that's a bone, bro. <laughs> he's like, don't film, don't film. Smell from the pancake. That's like a wolf. Honestly. Yeah, smell from the pancake. Yeah, yeah, he smells the pancake. He's like, you got chow for me? Thank you. Shishi. In Shanghai, that most popular dog definitely be poodle. They oh. don't shed and uh, we live in small houses. Oh, okay. The and little they ones. Well, like, uh, yeah, they've got a little coat on. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. style. <laughs> Shanghai will love it. There's so much uh, green space, uh, parks. Uh, yeah. That easily you can take a break, uh, whether it's a weekdays or weekends. Yeah, true. Harry's favorite one is uh, People's Park. People's mm. Park? Yeah. Are you walking along or are you walking with I, was, I wanted to go yeah. to the marriage market. In it's, uh, Park. it's more like a Saturday. So today, Sunday, I'm oh, not sure are they it. opening or not. Oh, to be quieter? Yeah, Saturday is very busy. Mm. But in Shanghai, it's common for people to have bubble tea bubble instead tea. of the regular traditional Chinese tea. Oh, okay. People are all queuing for it. This yeah. is one of the famous brands called Cha Bai Dao. Cha Bai Dao. Ni Hao Ma. Is it very good? Yeah. Very, very, very gentle. Oh, are we trying one out? Are you no, we're not. I okay. think it's too heavy. Huh? Yeah, yeah, too heavy. You cannot eat for the rest of the day. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Tea. yeah, Jim, you don't want to make me look pregnant here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is awesome. Look at this whole area down here. You have the trees designed, so they're almost making like a little shaded area on the streets here. Just such a clean and amazing, very livable place. That's like my initial feeling is this is like, it's got everything. You've got modern conveniences, you've got delivery, you've got, you know, payment systems. Just everything you need to uh, live a really quality life here in Shanghai. And, you know, compared to other cities like this, honestly, not too expensive. Here, we just crossed the street. So many, like, nice brands here. Looks like we've got New York Bagelist Museum. So people are having a nice little delish breakfast to start the day out. Ni hao ma. Oh, so look at, we have finally spotted some Teslas here. You don't find too many of them. And they're just not as popular compared to some of the other EVs. This is awesome though, such a modern city, so much going on. Oh, we've got a G-Wagon. So that one's got the blue license plate right there. All these internal combustible engines. And oh, the boys are taking off this way. So we're gonna keep going and follow them through. So some of the fanciest EV will be this brand. You might see it, uh, which is called Zika. So this Zeker. is a, a Blantyu Geely company that owns Volvo. So is that a Rolls Royce version? Uh, they're more like minivan. And the other one, the Zika O1, they're known for almost uh, 1,000 kilometer range. So no more range, range anxiety. 1,000 kilometers. Yeah. 
And Whoa. in China at this moment, that it's all the, the good price they're giving to consumer that will be like a big job sir, before the end of the year. Oh, wow. 80,000 yen. Drop. Oh, What's drop. Eight? Yeah. oh 80,000 yen. So yeah. that almost cost you like around um, 210 or 220,000 yuan, which is uh, almost uh, 30,000 US dollar. 30,000 US dollar, that's a For great fantastic deal. Fantastic in interior and long yeah. battery range. I think we're going to go buy one. Come in. Yeah. Yes. I, at least inside, it's just a perfect tour. Oh, yeah. We're coming in to buy one? Ni hao, ma. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. That's a fresh looking vehicle. Ho oh, ho! Oh. It just pops open. All right, we're hopping in. Oh, it's like door assist. You pull it and it kind of opens. Let's check this thing out. Oh! All right. How do I pay? Can, can I pay with Alipay to take it? Uh, well, there will be limits. <laughs> oh, this thing is fresh. Look at this. This is like a full size computer screen in here. This is insane. Wow, and it's super comfortable. I can see why uh, people are very competitive when they have Harry's a Tesla. Open it, just open it. Yeah, press it, yeah. To open it. Harry's a first timer with the EVs. Oh, it opens for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Coming, coming. Yeah. Just look at this. This is the shifter right there. Everything's got like this almost like some furry leather. Feels like, oh, it's got a nice strong grip. That sounds like World's largest magic. screen. Let me get on Bluetooth. Let me get on Bluetooth. Let's get a little something going. Yala? Yala? Should we take it for a spin? <laughs> no, not Yala, yeah. The tire is fixed. Oh, uh, they don't want us to drive away. Yeah. But you can see that all the interior and also the screen. And see the space they lay up? Oh, oh yeah. Actually, like, you can walk as like uh, just a flat bed when you're like traveling. You can turn into a bed? Yeah. Oh wow. No Check this out. Open sesame. <laughs> that is insane. Well done. Well done. 30k US. Not bad. And look at that. Closes itself. Effortless. All you gotta do is breathe. <laughs> That's a good way to. <laughs> This is like the Rolls Royce looking minivan. Honestly, I, I didn't know if I'd ever want to get a minivan, but then you look at some, oh, I just got nailed by the door. The door's like, get out of my way. You look at this and you're like, is it, are we living in the year 2100? Unbelievable. Oh, this is, no way. This is like sitting in a lazy boy chair. They're so big. This is, I'd say the best way to, Describe this is like a first class seat in, in the airplane. You're pressing it now. Oh, no one touch you. <laughs> no, Send me on. down, bro. It's not on. Got Look at that. Massage. Oh, got like See that right there? Yeah. Massager? Yeah. Oh, wait, let's get this one started up. I don't think it's on. It probably didn't, didn't turn it oh. oh, oh, yeah, we're going. We're going. Okay, huh? How's it back? Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Oh. <laughs> I'm not leaving, Jim. <laughs> Sorry. <huh>? Tour ends here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should not take you here. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That, right there, the shoulder blades. Okay. All right, I want to buy one of these. <laughs> Count me in. Shishé. Oh, All right, did a little car shopping in uh, Shanghai. Yeah, cars here are impressive. I can understand now why in such a short period of time, the population has switched over from two to 40% electric vehicles in such a short time period. So yeah, with back massages like that, I'm ready to switch. I don't even own a car and now I'm gonna get one. The EV is only like around six or 10 yuan. That's like 1.5 US dollar. 1.5 US dollar. Oh, we've got a Lamborghini here. Come up closer. All right, look at this thing. Roast them, roast them. Let's spin them. Roast them. Nope, I was thinking he was gonna burn out. He's got the blue license plate. That thing is just purring right there. Oh, we better get out of here. He's got a little motorcycle moped lane. I guess bikes, mopeds, everything's go over there. So $1.50 on average is what they spend on electricity? It's common that uh, uh, 
I would say if you drive for like 40 or 60 kilometers a day to commute, that's almost the same budget you take subway. On wow. a rainy day, on a hot day, on a cold day, why not drive your EV? That's, and it's cheap. Huh? That's insane. We're so, this is rare to hear this, that it is the same price as riding the metro as it is to take your EV. That's how inexpensive electricity is here. Well, I can see why EVs are taking over. And how much is like a liter of gasoline? Or like petrol? Over, over 1.5 or 2 US dollar. Okay. 1.5, 2 US dollars it's not per expensive, liter. But electricity is cheaper. Yeah, much cheaper. That's the difference. Oh, we've got a little Lululemon, bro. I saw that. Might have to do a stop over there. Yeah, we can. Walking down. Oh, yeah, so that's it. Yeah. And the pedestrians only, right? They're very successful uh, and also largely popular among people working in offices when they spend time in the gyms. No matter male, Are they female. Lululemon popular here? It is, uh, and they never give discounts. I've been waiting for like six or seven years. So never. Every Black Friday in China, the 11th of November, I wait for the good price. Never. Never can find it. And what's this uh, district called? It's a Xingtendi area. Xingtendi area. Well, the neighborhood that renovated from all the locals and locals being relocated uh, oh. become more like eat and drink nightlife area or shopping for some of the latest trends. Latest like the trends, Sanji yeah. is a brand originally from Japan, but they're also yeah. big competitors to Canada Goose and Monkley. Oh, wow. So really high-end brands then. Right down here. Yeah, everything's brand new. We've got watch companies there. We've got all types of stuff. There's a bit of everything here. Very modern side. We've got Shake Shack. I recognize that one. The shakes there are delish, but they're not uh, Chinese. We've got all types of shops and restaurants, international and local. Uh, really big brand names right there. Valentino, place where people are having some drinks, some coffees, kitchen bar. Yeah, just an incredibly nice designed layout. You can see why it's so busy on a Sunday. Everyone's coming here to hang out. So it, which day of the week is this the busiest? Uh, this is not busy to be fair. Oh, not uh, busy at all. This is in November. There's not many tourists. Many locals, I uh, think, uh, weekend spending time with uh, their boyfriends, girlfriends, uh, families. Uh, Oh, okay. Have a drink, have some gelato, or like uh, check out the latest trend in Lululemon, or oh, wow. some of these um, Western food that they want to share. Ooh, pizza, your favorite? Uh, not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of pizza. <laughs> One of the first people I've ever met in my life. Is it? <laughs> well, he's had, he, has, he has such good food, you don't need to have pizza in the so diet. That is the point. Uh -huh. So next place, uh, the Boxing Cabaret. Oh, Boxing have, like, a small sip uh, about the Chinese uh, craft Ooh, beer. Ooh, I think it's time then. All right, straight here, Boxing Cat Brewery. We're getting ice cold, ice cold. Bruce oh, Snack Relax, bro. How does that sound? Oh Kong yeah. Pao. Kong Pao. Kong Chao, I think. All right. So this is how the locals party and drink it. Oh, we've got a festive smell. A nice cinnamon smell to it all and everything on tap. Ni hao ma. Hello, Chinese. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, thanks. Very good. What did you have today? Uh, uh, you eat today? Segola. Uh, Segola? Yeah. Uh, I had chipotle. <laughs> oh, very nice. Thank you, bro. Oh, wow. Okay, sir. So the first one I order is uh, going to be the Tung Pao, bro. crazy IPA. The oh, mango. The mango. Oh, no, yeah. Kanpao. Kanbe. Kanbe. Oh. Yeah, you got that wrong, bro. You got my hand now. Kanbe. 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 Yeah. All right, well, here we go. We're going to slam it. Oh, I slam again. <laughs> oh. That goes down so smooth. That's got a nice IPA kick to it, bro. I love an IPA. Mmm. In Shanghai, that's a good notice. Not how crafty be it. Yeah. But um, in, in, in reality, that uh, unfortunately, bar wines are dominate the city. That craft beer is more popular among people that's been having drinks with their work colleagues, uh, mm. or young hipsters uh, try to like uh, share with their friends uh, the small places. Oh, okay. Boxing Curtis is one of the oldest brands uh, from Shanghai from 2008. 
That's amazing. Yeah, it's, as you guys can see, it's a super high-end place overall. So many different fresh options on tap. And I love the uh, look to it. Very unique design. Boxing cat. It's literally a cat with boxing gloves on it. This is great. I'm loving Shanghai. The day has come, or shall I say the time has come, where Jim is finally releasing the duck back to us. He's been holding us out. And the reason being is because he wanted us to have it with an ice cold and ice cold. So we've got the next beer we're going to be trying. But first, let's get some of this juicy duck. Send that duck swimming. And now that it's ready, let's try this thing out. Mm. Wow, that is better. Sorry, I have to say this. Than the duck that I've had even on Thanksgiving. This is the greatest. I want to try it without the sauce because this meat is so chewy, perfectly done. Mm. It just pretty much breaks apart. This is how soft that is. You don't need a knife. You drop it right in. Wow. Exceeding expectations by far. Cheers to that. So the guy at the bar was asking? Just asking that, how come you go with chopsticks? I would say I'm only amateur, but enough to let's say get the job done. Grab that, dip that thing in. Yeah. And uh, my friend just shy away, walk away, because many Chinese, uh, they have a curiosity to, to try to start conversation with you, but many cannot speak English. Yeah. Under, under the Chinese culture, people think that they are more worried about, like, uh, is it offending you? Because uh, oh, really? for all the Chinese, they, when they look at Western face, they only know that you probably from like Europe, America, or like uh, UK, they can, or Australia. They, can. they cannot tell which specific country. Wow. And they cannot even tell from the accent of the language uh, you speak. Uh, right. They want to talk to you, yeah. but they just intentionally keep distance. Uh, so if you're oh. looking for help sometimes, you can just like, post them. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that explains a lot. So when maybe Western people think that Chinese people are not very approachable, or friendly it's just, it's just uh, they're nervous exactly and also many yeah. Chinese I'm sorry to say they were rather sinking under your shoes mm. it's just I try to do the easy yeah. ice breaking yeah yeah so we need to make sure we're doing the ice breaking yeah yeah, yeah. and makes... it's such a nice if you pick up a few Chinese words whether it's a ta hao la yeah. or like nichiloma meaning did you eat anything oh, people, how do I say that one did you eat anything how do I say that in Chinese nichiloma Shiloma. Ni Shiloma. Ni Shiloma. Ni Shiloma. Or Shiloma ni. Ni Shiloma. Ni Shiloma. Oh, perfect. And how do I say did you drink something? Ni Shiloma. Ni Shiloma. Tai Haula. This is beer. It's Tai Haula. Come how? Come pay. Come pay. You see, if you speak to the Chinese, uh, that many uh, Chinese will love to like a uh, smile back. Can mm. they understand you're appreciating our culture? Right. And we probably still don't know anything about your background. Yeah. But I mean, so you feel closer, right? So, yeah, yeah, if definitely. If you order beer, you go to restaurants, you order the food, noodle, dumpling, people think that uh, that's a customer I'm, I'm happy to welcome. Wow, that's amazing. Simple, huh? Yeah, see guys, I always tell you, learn a couple words in the languages, and it goes a long way, especially here in China even more. Yeah. Uh, Shishe. Shishe. Shishe, yeah. Yeah, Shishe. What website would you use to learn the language? Ooh, italki.com, link in bio, $10 off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great deal. And what is this one? Uh, this is a Chinese wheat beer. Chinese wheat beer. Very lighter, easy to drink. Most of the beer is like around 2.8, 3.2% ABV. And this one's 4.8. Exactly. Oh, so we're we doubling down. Like the IPA we had is 5.5. That IPA could be common whether in UK or in America, but in China, that's a new thing. Mm. Many Chinese don't know the origin, the history, the Indian Pale Ale. If I sometimes invite my best Chinese friends to have a glass of IPA, they might want to like a joke back. That sounds like beer imported from India. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they think it's from India. <laughs> yeah, India Pale Ale. <laughs> On the river. That's super funny. So, without further ado, Chan Pao? Kanpei. Chan Pao? Kanpei. 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 You, no, you're supposed to, you have to say campaign to me really loud so I finish it, right? Oh, just oh really? Say a slow, gentle voice, that means I kick it easy. 
Okay. The, yeah, depends on the tune. So even the same word, your pronunciation will change the, the message you're sending. Is that what I say? Mandarin tonal. Yes, the tune. Okay. Kampe. So, Kampe! Uh, that's a message that you're telling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shishi, <laughs> Bajan. Shishi. Bye. Bye. It's a long way. Long way. Shishi. Bye. Bye. See you next time. It's a long way away. Oh, this is awesome. This is a great day, guys. Got a couple nice ice cold brew snacks. Just a couple, a little bit to take the edge off. And now we are taking an EV to the next spot. Yep. All right. We're gonna... No. It's called, it's called a funny. It's called Long Way. When he was explaining to me, I thought, oh, it's Long Way Away. But it's actually called Long Way. He was like, it's Long Way. You see the sign that would be funny with the conversation we We're going a long way to Long Way? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, man, it's your, it's your meet and greet. Oh, it's a big day today. All right, we just hopped into the EV here. Check this out. We're in one of these minivans, not the exact one we were in. A good man's taking us over here, called an app, and yeah, super spacious. We found the button, it's right down here. Oh, yeah, this is the best way to take a lift. Get a back massage after walking with that backpack on. This is not something I've seen in very many cars, having a back massager in the seat. And just a quick ride, we've made it. Shishé ma. All right. Oh. All right. Oh. We have made it. Dumplings time? Uh-huh. You can also feel me how they prepare it. Oh, that sounds great. We've got just a little room left in the stomach, so perfect to end with the dumplings. Oh yeah, we have arrived. Shish, ni hao ma? Yeah. So these are the how they scan the QR code. Oh, scan it right there. So it's a yellow company. You might also see them like delivering the food, riding the soup. Oh yeah. Shish. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be the part when they're boiling all the uh, yeah. yeah, That's a bat, the sun. Oh yeah, very good. And they make it right in front of you if you want to oh. film it. So that's a parent one. So that's a poker. Oh yeah, unfortunately, he's just dumping inside the broth. So it's family business, huh? Oh, family business here. Oh, look at how good those are. Freshly made every day. Mm -hmm. We call it shenjian or shenjian bao, which is pan fried in the flat walk. Oh. That's the broth we're going to drink with. Oh, that looks so good. Everything just presenting in front of you. There's no secret. It's just pure fresh food. Yeah, the fresh, the food here is so fresh. And what are these, the first five they ever made? Um, I don't know why, it's a 50 cents. 50 cents? Yeah, easy to eat. Oh, oh, that's custom made. And it's shulama. Shiloma. He did eat something. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's great. Look at the smell of me. <laughs> yeah. I told you if you speak like Chinese people are very, very happy. Yeah, they love it. It's a piranha. You You see this, bro? These? It's not about they just uh, made this money. It's a thing to open. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's like DIY right there. Yeah. So we have, in fact, at this moment, two different type of dumplings. And my friend is very nice, by the way. In case you later want to catch up or practice again, he's oh, totally fine with this. We've got a shenjian or shenjian bao, shenjian mantel, different name, but have the same type which is round shape with sesame, sometimes white, or black sesame, inside the marinated pork. The flat one we call it guo tea. Some people on the internet call that pot sticker because it's a direct translation that you put the dumpling in the flat wok pot and then you stick on it. Oh. People in Japan also sometimes call it gyoza, slightly different. Mm. The, at least uh, the guo tie in Shanghai, I would say, have more juice. Lots of similarity with uh, xiao long bao, which is will be number one food we're going to eat next. Oh. But the perfect combination, food in Shanghai, like we earlier had noodle, is a little bit oily, have you noticed? Mm, when yeah. we've been talking, is it healthy or not? But we also talk about how it balances back. So we would like to use all these curry beef soup. Curry, the ingredient is not often used in Chinese cuisine. The influence in Shanghai, in fact, is from some of the Indian Sikh people who were being bought by British when they came to Shanghai around oh, 
But many like Indian, they don't eat the curry. We, uh, they don't eat the beef for the cow. We use the curry to make the beef soup. Oh, sounds like it's time to dig in then. Every once in a while, eating China dumpling could be a little dangerous. And oh, sometimes yeah. I will ask you to wait a while, one or two minutes. Mm, oh, that's dangerous. Not confidence, so it's a tough <laughs> skill. This place school. is dangerous in China. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's get this thing going. We got two dumplings here. Two little dumplings. Two dumplings. Oh yeah, let's get that thing swimming a bit. It's a fair day starter. Next. And <laughs> yeah, I've learned already because Harry tried one of these that these things will spray. So let's see how it works for me. <coughs> oh. Mmm. All right. Yeah, this is beyond any other dumpling I've ever had. Uh, sometimes while we like dripping some extra sauce oh. inside, adding more flavor. Oh, look at that. That's, yeah. that's how the locals do it. Fill that thing up right there, get another little splash. Yeah. Mm. That thing is so freaking juicy. That's amazing. And these are pork dumplings? Pork dumplings. Yeah, it's just, so just loaded with pork. You got a little, almost a sweet flavor in there. And actually with the first bite it was a bit salty and then once the uh, opening breaks and all the juices come in it's like a, just a mix of so many different flavors I've never had before. And what's this one? This is Shin Chin. Shin Chin. Yes. I'm going to try this one. Small bite. Whoa. Mmm. That's a squash, huh? Oh yeah. Look at how doughy that is. And this is like a noodle texture on the outside. A little bit different. So the dough from the shinjian mm. is actually like, a, so what we say, like semi-fermented. So that bit mm. puffier. But it's different from the steam bar. Because steam bar, that would be very, very doughy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so freaking tasty. Mm. And then we've got the beef. We're going to be mixing it in here with. Yeah. Curry beef soup. Curry beef soup. Oh, let's try a little. Mm. Oh, that beef is so chewy. Mixed in with all that, you can see these little bubble pockets of oil. And we are gonna finish off one more bite. Slurp this so the chefs know it's good. Mm, they're gonna know it's real good then, right? <laughs> yeah, right, Jim? <laughs> shishé, shishé, shishé. Enjoy your dumplings. All right. What is next on the list, Jim? Uh, we're going to People's Park. People's, People's Park, Park, all right. I'm going to get married. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Find him a wife? We'll see. <laughs> It'll be uh, quite competitive, <laughs> neither for you or me. <laughs> do, do, do the parents like foreigners? I'm guessing no. Uh, most of the time, uh, I see people in Shanghai that I think probably better. What are they yeah. looking for? Um, they're the just looking man? for a, a perfect match. Fit okay. with uh, their background. Do they take into account your job? Your everything. That everything. Not only your education background, your job, your age, your height, uh, oh. where your mom and dad uh -oh. from, are they six married, foot. divorced, <laughs> are they retired, how's the pension, do you own a car, EV, or the blue license internal combustion engine car? What about like my charm and my, my handsomeness and my, oh, my that doesn't matter. My charisma? It doesn't, doesn't matter? Really? That's the least... Uh, uh, <laughs> That's the only thing I've got. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, he doesn't have an EV. <laughs> yeah. I have no home. I have no car. My job is extremely uh, different to every job in the world. Uh, <laughs> Very tough to explain to And I'm only in China yeah. for six days. So, yeah, what do you think? 0% chance. Come try, Why not? Tell me. Everyone has a fair chance. So people in China rarely use the word no. I remember hearing this at some point when I was learning about the Chinese culture because it's got such like a negative impact. So Many Chinese don't like to say no because they think uh, that's uh, like pure offense. Uh, you're being very rude, you're being very disrespecting someone that we would rather give a, a twisted version, uh, a different answer to replace a strong, negative, no answer. Oh, yeah. So it's like a very respectful way of politely declining. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Oh, here we are. Oh, right through here. Shanghai History Museum just popped right up. No, good boy.
Good little guy. Oh, we got another one. His brother's right over there. So this is the Shanghai History Museum. Used to be the racing track, the casino for all the Europeans are betting on their horses. Uh, oh, wow. So 200 years ago. 200 years ago. Oh, okay. So Top there's some history here. Square area. Used to be the racing track when the French people betting on their favorite dogs. Look at that. 100 years ago. Now there was fields in a park. Now there's all of this. But the park still exists. Which is People's Park, where we're heading back to right now. Ni Shulama. Like that, good pronunciation. Ni Shulama. Ni Shulama. Ni Shulama. Yes, exactly. Keep it that. Ni Shulama. He's smiling. Look at Ni Shulama. Trick water. I eat some. Oh, perfect. Everyone here is looking for a husband. Husband or wife? A wife, yeah. I would say, can come in. Ni Shalama. Ni Shalama. A little gentle voice. If you say it directly, did you anything? Then people will be like uh, a little bit shocked. Uh, uh, what do you okay. mean? I'm busy. Uh, like the other man, like say that it's because. Uh, oh, suddenly ask me a question. I'm like, like concentrating myself, trying to <laughs> sell uh, this candy. This is uh, really interesting. So everyone comes here and. Uh, they have all the information for their uh, children and they are looking for a husband or wife for them. They have like how much money they're making, what they do. That's fascinating. Ni oh, Shalama. She's probably gonna use you like a Western. But look at it, that this is a female. I'm married. Born 1992. Oh, 1992. Yeah. 166 centimeters tall, master degree, studying mm. Australia. Analyst, financial analyst, make 260,000 yuan per year, local, di local domestic uh, family. All of her information is listed. Mom and dad are working for government. Oh, oh we're busted. Yeah, like Almost finished uh, <laughs> the, the description. <laughs> yeah, beautiful to see other people's cultures and how they do this. How much effort goes into it. I'm a unique... Yeah, you are unique. Just look around. How many Western faces you saw? I saw one. Well, any descriptions in English uh, or not? Yeah, uh, neat. Ni Shilama. Ni Shilama. Yeah. yeah. That would make you like a, a very rare, 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 rare candidate in the market. Okay, oh. I'm like a diamond. Yeah. Some would say. <laughs> Don't worry, Mabel, if you're watching this, I'm not looking for a wife. I'm wingman and Harry to find him one. Is he taking commission? Uh, absolutely well. So if the marriage happens, uh, people here might have a commission. It's flexible. Depending on how eager you are for the specific candidate, could be like male, female, young, old, divorced or not, all possible choices. In fact, also grandparent generation, they might find their, their like husband and wife again if their spouse like uh, get bad diseases or like pass away. Wow. So it's been like speaking aloud that uh, only one like Shanghai local people. Oh, he's speaking Shanghainese. Uh, he's speaking that uh, the, the, the candidate he's uh, uh, representing only one the local people. Oh. Is he already spotted us? He's like, yeah, he just said it very loud to the lady here. It was a mask. Class. Only Shanghainese people. Oh, wow. look closer. Look I'm done. Yeah, sorry, he's, uh, he's, he's uh, he swipes left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said no. He was like yeah. swiping, swiping right. Obviously, for me, swipe left. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell he's a uh, very professional. Yeah. 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 You sure, Ma? 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 You sure, You ask if he has a daughter? He said, You have a daughter? He doesn't have a daughter. Okay, okay. You don't have a daughter. You don't have a daughter. Why is he here? Why is he here? Why is he here? And why is he here? Why is he here? Why is he here? Why is he here? Uh, he's looking actually a uh, wife for himself. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Oh, yeah. He's my competitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Each one is different uh, uh, taste. <laughs> <laughs> France is partners. She's here, she's here. Why are you in what? In what? Uh, 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 in what? U
多时候换一个。Popular， 欧美。Yeah, yeah. 就这一代。It's hard. It's hard. I'm struggling. 这一代是海外游客。他挺难的，因为没人找他。能不？不不不是的。你往那一站一介绍，都能找。Laughing, that's that's not true. 这个是海海外游客。He said, I just stand here for longer. That there will someone catch up. 你看呀，都没有。<音>这边是家长，如果要是本人来，你们就干什么了？谢谢。你去了吗？我怎么了？他因为找不到对象。哦，我不 ，no no no no。这是我外外国基因的。My friend, he's very、oh, okay okay. He's very good looking. No, no, I. Oh, she said no. I don't want an English. Oh no way. Yeah yeah. She speaks English. Yeah. I think that guy is. I also try to like、um, like catch up、uh, to have fun. He's not serious.、So、yeah yeah.、Uh, just joking. <laughs> yeah, he was a good guy. So, by the way, the force was male or female. Notice the difference. Oh, how do you know? This is a male. Oh, wow. And this is a female. Oh, really? The latter. Ni hao. Just like、uh, some, sometimes we are excited to see you.、Uh, more like uh, uh, wondering that、uh, what you will be behaving like、uh, if you like.、Uh, A real candidate here. Oh yeah,、so、I'm a respectful man. I'll be very respectful. This is debatable. This is debatable. <laughs> It's a busy day today too. Look at this. It's more practical compared with like online dating app、uh, because in China, I'm sorry to say, online dating app mainly are like、uh, scams.、Uh, oh really? I think most young people that have been educated are not into online dating. But it works perfectly that someone offer you a candidate. Maybe the auntie like spread the information and asking you that would you like to have a drink or have a dinner?、Oh. Does the parents have to come with them? Not necessary. Okay. And I think many young people are not happy to see like your your, your parents are behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, right, right, right. I don't think I want my parents to come on a date. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be watching. So guys, you're getting the behind the scenes of how Harry tries to find himself a wife. Right. So far, not successful at all. We're Drop just warming up. We're just warming up. Hello, Do you remember、again? how to ask if they want food? Yeah. We're gonna try again. He put his mask on. Yeah, he's like. Right. Just be polite. Yeah. Zero out of three. No. Yeah, you're not getting a wife today. No. Ni shulama. Can you tell me more about? She said that not my daughter. Not your daughter. She just like、uh, working on this potential、uh, candidates for someone else. Okay. Can you ask her what she's looking for? Uh, I think that'll be my life. She、oh, saw、right. you. They're like, oh no, it's a British legend, not for my daughter. I'm not marrying her up. Look, I'll put it this way. She probably made the right decision. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, some Chinese are conservative, but they don't know how that possible. Yeah. Because、uh, language barrier exists. Yeah. Yeah. Like,、uh, you see that even people will look at you. They obviously want to talk to you. Yeah. But they really don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. Because、uh, Chinese are more like a, a, a traditional Chinese. Older、yeah. generation, they say what they mean. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fascinating. fascinating. Straight, Have you noticed? There's no like picture. Yeah, Because, there. Because、uh, if you ask picture, that's a moment people think you are serious. Otherwise, why should I give you picture? Because picture means so much, right? Ah. Wow. So it's like the it's like the dating show where it's like you fall in love without seeing any pictures. Yeah, blind dates. We're looking. We do. Okay, then it's good. They, they yeah, yeah. They don't want the foreigners. They don't want the foreigners. No, they don't no. want. No, no, no. We're trying. It's a partner market. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. You've been here before. Why are you guys here? No, it's, I mean, have been here before, but not while they are having this marriage marriage market. I heard、uh, market the legend, the story, but I don't know where it is until I was there. Oh, why so many people? Yeah, it's busy. All, all people and them. <laughs> so you are having a camera? Oh yeah, we're <laughs> recording for the YouTube channel. Ah, YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. No,、oh, we are, we are. She's from Guangzhou. We met in Germany. Oh, that is very good. Yeah. And then we we lived、uh, a couple of years in Singapore and we moved to Shanghai in July. Ah, very soon. You didn't meet here, huh? <laughs> you didn't meet here. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> we met in Germany. So、uh, yeah, usually Germany. those those ladies who are here now, they are above thirty, right? <laughs> When they are born, ninety.、Uh, Ninety-eight. So, mostly so nine, it's, after nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. And、yeah. usually, they、so、are parents. So it's a critical age. If、uh, a woman yeah. gets yeah, 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 above thirty, yeah, yeah. then no, no, then I haven't the, seen any of that. The parents or grandparents-in-law try everything. Oh, you know, to, really? To wow. It's an interesting. It's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, yeah. So where are you from?、Uh, from the United States. U.S. Both. No, UK. Yeah. yeah I just、yes, was wondering. Yeah, the British accent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
you carry this thing and walking around. Das ist Nobody richtig. Asks you. Das ist kein no Problem. Police. No police ask you here? No, they, they Nein. love it. The Chinese people love it. Uh, no, the police don't mind at all. I, we even, we've even walked up and started filming the police. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Oh. They don't care, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you, you speak Chinese? Uh, no. Okay, let's, let's arrange. Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. We've been Come trying, on. they don't like all the guys. Ni hao ma. They don't like? Well, the, the, the elderly ladies, they're, they're, not, they're not a big okay, fan. Okay, they okay. say no, no, no. They see him oh, and they're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Only problems with all Yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably know what I'm like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting to see their, the ladies, they share their, their uh, cell phone and, ah, oh, look at that, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, okay, this, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, yeah. It's so cool. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, oh, cool. And this is the fun? 21st century. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freu mich, Freu yeah. mich. Nice to meet you. Like, yeah. How long you will be here? Uh, we just have a transit you too. so we six days. Oh. Yeah, okay, 144, 144 hours. hours. Yep. Uh, no, they don't belong. We have last since last Friday. The Germans, mm -hmm. the French, the Spanish, the Italian, mm -hmm. oh, and they, Malaysia, yeah, 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 15 yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. Without oh. visa. Yeah. Yeah. But not UK. Oh, not they got to keep you out of there. Yeah yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, then enjoy. Yeah, you guys too. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Is it? Yeah, I spoke a little German. I, I know a little bit of German, yeah. I used to be pretty good at it, but now I lost a lot of it. But I can say a few words to get around. All right, that was great. Ni hao ma. He looked at me like, no, no, you're not supposed to speak this language. <laughs> oh, it's just like, if I, like uh, many, like, it would be a negative answer, but they cannot say it. Are there a negative answer? If they say, I'm, I'm not good, you're not going to say it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the, their their model is like if I if I don't have anything nice to say I won't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> but not not even saying hi back. Um, because uh, say hi back it doesn't mean anything. Oh, it doesn't. Like, oh, okay. The way we catch up with like also I mentioned like always oh, related talking with food. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All oh, right. So like it's it's weird. It's like when not say, common to say like hey. Yeah. Oh hey. Yeah. Why you say hey? Hey. What does it mean? What's the context behind? Oh yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Wow, that's well, pretty that fascinating. Say, like uh, the most nicer way in Chinese is ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah. What's ni hao ma? You good. Like ni hao ma is a question. You good. Yeah, yeah you good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think this is quiet. Uh, if you come here like Saturday, it'll be like packed. Yeah, yeah. Already this is uh, like 4.30, so grandparent generation, they have already scheduled to eat dinner. So these remains at this moment, they are some of the most eager oh. agents. Uh, yeah, everyone really wants to get their uh, children married. Ni hao ma? I'm from America. I'm from America? Uh, my son is uh, uh, 36. 36, uh, yeah? No marriage, no boyfriend. I, just me, uh, born here. Oh, born here, uh, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I come back and uh, see my mother. Mother oh, here living in Shanghai. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I live in New York. In New York? New York? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are, you're here? No, today, yeah. Oh, you're I, just walking through? Uh, yeah, okay. I see. Just my, my son, 36. No <laughs> boyfriend. I see. He don't like a Chinese lady. He like America. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, today, I told him, I go to the, this uh, park. I see just a Chinese lady. He told me, no, no, no. <laughs> he don't like a different. Different style, different. This. Uh, Inside the different. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Shanghai lady. You need your you, 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 you need your uh, house, uh, <laughs> big house. You yeah, the money how much money? Yeah, uh, one years. Oh, just he's America. Picky. Just, he's a picky man. Yeah, he's fussy. <laughs> just uh, America know this. Uh, America, yeah. Just uh, you like me, me. I like you. Just okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, Enjoy nice your trip. Bye. She's a very sweet lady. Yeah, very sweet. Like I told you, most of local could be quite open-minded. Just like yeah. some uh, not getting used to speaking with uh, like uh, Westerners. Yeah, yeah. Some are not being rude. They just uh, don't know how to behave like. Mm. And they don't have time to think about it. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And why do you think the aunties said they don't want foreign... They just uh, some just are worried about that uh, you're not sincere. Oh, Some maybe like really? the Refa member, they are the most eager people. Well, that's Some pretty obvious with this guy. <laughs> Some are the like uh, agents, uh, they only care about commission they make. Uh, oh, yeah. Some just uh, want to practice English. Mm. Like the gentleman. 
you probably just walk around have fun like weekends. Uh, yeah, yeah. And by us, uh, we're also having fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that was a nice look into the Chinese culture. What is like here on a Sunday as everyone tries to find their kids a spouse. So that was an insane experience. Thanks for our man Jim showing us around. Welcome. And what's going on here? Why are these people online? So is this, this like is a... the Art Deco building, Park Hotel. They also sell some of the best uh, pastry. Oh. I think it's a bit overrated, but the crowd happens uh, with uh, the domestic tourists. Uh, when people would like to send good gifts uh, back home for their parents, they also love to bring some good food. Oh yeah, and you can be... tell there's a lot of people with the same idea because there's about 200 people in this line all the way leading up to right there. You can also smell some buttery flavor from the window of the bakery. Oh. In China, that we don't use uh, butter for cooking. Oh, okay. That's so, not often. So, so it's not even really that traditional. Oh, uh, okay. It's more European style. Yeah. More uh, that's probably why it's getting a crowd, because it's a bit different than usual. Yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna have one last pancake. Uh, it's a scallion oil pancake. Mmm. Another pancake. You might also smell some of the lamb stew. This oh. is also seasonal winter food. This one right here? Lamb stew. Oh, there's a lot of lamb stews going. Some of the extreme is like... Uh, Nihoma. Uh, oh, there's pancake heaven here? Nihoma. Look at those things, bro. They'll be like pan fried and then like uh, bake it inside. Oh, the world's fastest, and that's how they cook them. It looks like a giant pierogi. Pierogi? You know what a pierogi is? Is it Turkish or? Uh, I can't remember where they're from. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I only give you half of it. And that one's loaded with potatoes? Uh, not potato, but string onion. Oh, string onion. Spring onion. What's the string difference between this and what we had earlier? Uh, the texture, and mm. also cooking mm. ingredient. They also put some of uh, the mm. pork lard. Oh. <laughs> Good temperature. Mm. Oh yeah. Is that like a like a noodle that's fried yeah, essentially? That's the same spring onion, but this is mm. much, much much like a lightly fried. The other is a chives. Mm. Uh, the pancake is stuck. That is really nice. I'm sorry to say, the secret ingredient will be just like the pork lard. Why it's uh, so savory? Oh, it's Look the pork. The chunk of the pork meat. Oh, that's pork meat right there. No way. So it's just kind of mixed in there. Wow. Yeah, this is really tasty. Yeah, that little pink block behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, look at it. They do taste very similar to pierogies. I can't remember where pierogies are from, but I had them when I was a kid in the U.S. <laughs> mm. But these are better. Mm -mm. Mm. The lady's been possibly asking the same thing that we have. Look at it. Mm. You probably smell it uh, when they're cycling. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then quickly have some. Mm -mm -mm. Husband and wife by some more shops. Oh, husband and wife shop? Oh, very nice. What do you think of that, bro? This is so good. Very similar to what we had. And I think if you asked anyone in the UK, I'm not sure about the US, anyone in the UK, if they thought, what is Chinese food? This is not what they would think of. They would think of duck, pancakes, chicken chow mein, rice, which I know is not real Chinese food, but it's just amazing to see this is real Chinese food. Yeah, and how diverse the uh, food options are. Incredible. Every meal has been 10 out of 10. Jim, the man, the myth, the legend. Thank you so much for today's tour. You're guys, welcome. and by the way, we booked them through Get Your Guide, so I'm gonna drop a link down in the description below. If you guys are coming to Shanghai, you wanna get the best food tour in the entire city and have bellies as full as ours are right now, Jim or one of his team members are gonna hook you up with an amazing food tour. It was a three hour food tour, it's been like four and a half hours, so he really took the time, showed us some additional places that weren't even on the itinerary, and we really uh, appreciate that. Shi Shi, my You're brother. Welcome. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry for the full coma afterwards. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, we're happy. Yeah. We're happy, we got full stomachs. First stop, we're gonna have to get ourselves a little McDonald's. I know, that's ridiculous, right? But it's always fun to see. Let's try it out here. Order start. Okay. We got a couple different options there. Let's see if we can get it in English. Nope. Oh, uh, all right. We've got hot and spicy. Oh, wow, look at this. They've got sausage on the burger. I feel like we gotta try that one out. It's two sausage links. Mm. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can get just the sandwich. I don't know how that all works. But we will we'll try that one more time. Just the burger. I'm guessing that says honey mustard. All right. And check out. Uh, this one? Yes, please. This one? Oh. Uh, actually, uh, this one? Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, then we pay. All right, we can do Alipay. Uh, okay, let's try that one. Oh, that's a good sign. Something's scanning. All right, I have no idea if that worked. Oh, we got a number showing up. And perfect, there we are. We're gonna be eating. So this is what a McDonald's here looks like. Look at this, super modern. Kind of have that like design concrete hanging down lights. And we even have a McCafe here. <laughs> Look at this, this is like, kind of like you're sitting, but like leaning. That's <laughs> wild. And it's actually comfortable. It's like half up, half down. We've got macarons, a little French, and some sort of like sugar cube in there. And then over here we've got the uh, kind of couple sets of uh, benches. What do you think of this McDonald's, bro? Bro, this is epic. Look at this. They got charges. You get coffee to charge yourself. No, charges to charge no way. Phone. I've never actually tried the electronic charging. If I put it on that, it just works. No Whoa! Way. No way. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. Because guys, like, I don't know if you know, but because everything in China relies around using your phone, like payments and everything. So you just gotta have this thing charging at all times. If your phone dies, oh, now we lost the charge. And look at that, oh yeah, I can tell you guys are probably looking here. Look at how nice that looks. That is perception wear exclusive right there, guys. You can check it out, link in the bio. But yeah. fresh, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. But yeah, we've got uh, the chargers there and then some sort of, I don't know, RFID. I ordered a lot more than I realized. How did I end up with all this? I selected one item on the menu. No way. I guess my Mandarin's not as good as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look at the price or anything. Mm, well, I guess we're all gonna be eating good today. You guys only got a coffee? I just realized we should have probably ordered breakfast. Yeah. All right. So here's what I'm experiencing at McDonald's. The fries are, they've been sitting out. They taste identical to fries I've had at McDonald's around the world. But they do taste like they've been sitting out a bit. Now we've got kind of like this coffee style lid right there. Mmm. Tastes like a similar Coca-Cola. Alright, so this was what I was excited to try out. The German sausage double beef burger so yeah this is wild never did i expect that once i got to china the first mcdonald's i would have would be two sausages on there no cheese or anything like this is just bare bones let's try it out and see what it tastes like pretty good because I've never had a burger without cheese, I definitely think it needs cheese on it. Look at this, bro. Two sausages in there. I'm getting that. Custom made. This is called the the uh, German sausage double beef burger. <laughs> exactly, AKA Danky. The last thing we've got to try here is a little four pack of nuggets. So, mmm. That right there is consistency. Anywhere in the world I've had a McNugget, identical flavor. All right, that was a trip to McDonald's of China. Delish. We have just arrived to the Jing'an Temple right here and we're gonna be heading in. This place is insanely large. Gotta show you once we get inside here. Ni hao ma? All right. Ni hao ma? Alipay. 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 
。你好吗？那是三节，上课完我才能听你进。好，那你要从佛门来，要先修布施。半岁了，半岁了。All right, one fifty for three. There, there we go. 谢谢。Oh, drop it right down there. Shishi. Shishi. All right. Oh, we got the uh, competitor here with bounce bag storage right there. All right, and we are entering inside the temple. It was about seven dollars per person to get in, which is uh, fifty yuan. And look at this. We've just got the incense burning right here. Oh, that smells so nice. So here we are inside the temple. This is massive here. One, two, three levels up. A grand entrance right there. And it looks like there's vending machines where you can probably buy incense and other little gifts inside of here. I would love to find out from someone what this means if you get it in there. And I wonder how many Chinese Yuan are already in there. Because people are probably just throwing them all day long. I haven't seen anyone make one yet. And... Let's see. Oh, made one. Oh, made one. <laughs> All right, we've got some good uh, coin throwers over here. So this temple is the Temple of Peace and Tranquility, which is an historic Tangmi Buddhist temple, according to what I'm reading online here. And it's located in the Jing'an district. Hence where it gets its name, Jing'an Temple. Might have that uh, pronunciation not done perfectly. But it's a pretty lively place. It's the most like uh, action I've seen from Chinese tourists, like walking to tourist places where everyone's, you know, actually like yelling, you're making some noise and seeing who can make it in there. It seems like only like 20% of the people are making it in when they're tossing it. So the original temple was actually built in 247 AD. So we're looking at probably what? What is that, uh, 1800 years old roughly? So it has been around for a long time, but as you can probably tell, this place has been remodeled once or twice for it to look like this. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. So I make I make a wish? Uh -huh. Make a wish? All right. Here we go. Oh! Oh, oh failed, failed. Look at this, we've got coins flying from all over. Can pick them up and uh, do a take two here. Oh! I slipped on something right there. Almost made it up. Oh, made it in! <laughs> Boys, read them and weep. Just made it. But I didn't even wish. <laughs> this is the most like lively I've seen like Chinese tourists with like yelling, making a lot of noise. Because generally they're pretty low key overall. Like you know, walking down the road, they're not super loud. Like you know, let's say some other cultures. That's very true. In, in terms of like Chinese here, they're actually like tossing stuff, yelling. I'm pretty sure this actually is not to do with Buddhism, but it, it's become like a tourist attraction to do this here. <laughs> yeah. I think. Don't, don't count on that. We gotta try and make one up at the top. And there's the lucky one. Oh, and she just stepped on it. Maybe that means it's extra lucky. <laughs> oh, all right, we got a lot of obstacles here. Here we go. Up at the top. Oh, air ball. Oh, that one just went. Oh, oh, that almost hit someone. Yeah, Ali, top. top. Oh, and that one's coming down. <laughs> all right, boys, we're doing all or nothing, baby. You're going all in. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh, almost got hit with that one. Here we go. Oh. Oh, missed all of them. And look at this, all marble leading us up to the Buddha statue at the very top here. This will give us much more incredible views, especially as the sun's going down, it's lighting everything up in this golden tint. Oh, this is <laughs> such a huge Buddha statue. We've got all these, well, really smooth rock and engravings going up. Ni hao ma? Ni shule ma? Ni shule ma? Ni shule ma? Yeah. All 
All right, we got that overlooking view here. I wonder when's the busiest time. If there's just like hundreds of people here and they're all tossing coins and getting nailed. I've yet to see someone get hit from someone on the other side. Every single one, put me to shame. Oh, oh every single one, that's three for three. Well done, Shishi. Oh. oh, there we go. We got one, finally, finally, boys. <laughs> now it's time to get out of here. Yeah. So we just arrived to what's known as the Science Museum. But let me tell you, this Science Museum isn't like most science museums I've been in my life. Here, we're at one of the most famous fake markets in Shanghai called the Fun Collection. Now, if you're wondering why it's called the Science Museum, it's because it's at the Science Museum subway shop. So let's head right inside. Oh, all right, this is a whole new world down here. Hello. Yes. Good, thank you. <laughs> Hello, you're from? Oh, we got backpacks and everything. I'm horse, hello. This way, just looking. Oh, just looking, brother. I start the this looks like a high quality market. Oh, we got Patagonias? Oh, how much you selling Patagonias for? 250. Real price. Two, 250. Yeah. Oh, keep looking. We bought an electronic for now. 150 only for an afternoon business, really. Waterproof? Waterproof. This 150 only for no business for make a friend and also open, really. Okay. If you kill you, maybe 400, 600, also many people buy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, also packed. Waterproof, new model, 150. Oh. Really cheap. Okay. I think uh, my budget's uh, 100 today. No, no, no. 150 is maximum. All right, shisha, shisha. Oh, well, I can only afford one today. For one, I give the last price, 130. Finish. 130 is still going to be a bit much. We got Lululemon here. Yes, this is the last one. Mm. Also, 150. This is what proof original design. Look. Original? Or, no original, Kobe one because top Kobe. Same oh, okay. the original. Yeah. This original also more expensive. I could do 100 for the backpack, that's my final offer. This is really cool, right? Impossible. For that one. 130 is maximum. Really. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll keep looking and. Maybe, uh, my inside, maybe, you want maybe, maybe I come back, yeah? Yes, maybe you first choose the latest model. Give uh, it to the person. I'll give you a chip. Shisha, shisha. I also don't need. I could do 100 for the backpack. It's no, impossible. 120, absolutely. Really. If you have, I give you. Every people need business because you price too low. 120, okay. 120. I don't know if I have enough cash on me, honestly. Do you have Alipay? Alipay is okay. Okay. Which one color? Uh, which one's the better quality? Quality is the same, just the color is different. Or what blue. Uh, okay. I think this one's for you is nice. Like for any jacket, color is nice. All right, all right. I give a card. I think if I cheaper, maybe you come back talking oh. brand again. All right, all right. Alipay here. Alipay right here. Oh, perfect. All right. All right. Well, we got ourselves a uh, Patagonia backpack for one twenty. So that's fifteen, seventeen dollars. High quality, waterproof. So that's a great price. Really high quality. This is definitely one of the nicest markets I have ever been in. And yeah, you can easily spend a lot of money here. Nice bags and. All types of stuff when you're walking through here. Oh, we got shoes in here? What types of uh, shoes you got? You want which shoes for uh, you to get? I like these ones. All white. All white? Do you have? No, 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 no. no, no. You can't go there. I want to other people. Look, you can't go there. It's apples. Like apples oh. for white. Are these good quality? Of course. Mm -hmm. This is comfortable for you. Little stick, so no semi using, so real leather. Real leather? You can see. All right. Oh, we're lighting that thing on fire too. It's not burning. All right, all right. Yes. Uh, how much are you selling those for? Take a size for you. Hmm? Take a size for you. Uh, I give you this price. 
Oh, that's as much as the real ones. No. Yeah. No, I'm much at these. No, no, too How expensive. Much? Too expensive. How much? Um, you like it not? You give me a, a reasonable price. You, you give me five eighty. That's uh, fifteen dollars times five. That's that's more than I'd buy in in uh, United States. Ninety dollars. I've gotten. I bought Air Force cheaper. How much? How much? Uh, you are has. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Where you have? Come on, say no. You fly. Yes or no? I think two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty is still a lot. I can buy the the real ones okay, for that. You go near shop. All right. All right. Shishé. Shishé. Where you come? So as you guys can see, prices here are very expensive. You really got to negotiate. But this market is huge. I mean, look at how much is going on here. Oh, those belts look nice. Shishé, shishé, Baijan. All right. We lost uh, Ali and Harry. No clue where they went from here. Oh, maybe shishé. Nishulemo. Oh, it's tempting. What do, what do we got going on in here, brother? Good stuff? Sports uh, one. What about uh, something that's going to look good on the face? What? You are the prescription? Uh, no, 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 no. Sunglasses. Sun. Sunglasses. Sunglasses, many. All With the sunglasses. Are these all for guys, for men? Have for men, for women. Uh, what about these? These are good for me? Yeah, this is for you too. Oh. Very good. Not bad. Yeah. How much you sell these for? Uh, 280. 280? Oh. Yeah. That is good quality. A bit expensive, brother. The good quality is the Chibuwa Okay. I'm going to keep looking. Shishé, Shishé. Oh, no. Uh, best price on this one? 280. 280, okay. Shishé, Shishé. Pretty expensive. Uh, we're not even uh, name brand or anything. We're like $35. Ooh. What, what type of watch? Uh, good watch? Yeah. Uh, what Depends what options you have. Uh, which oh. what you put on the watch? Uh, good brand, yeah. good quality. Yeah, I bet you call watch. Uh, Rolex uh, or Mika Kupuno. Yeah. Sure. I think that sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you got to No deal. Yeah. Uh, where, where are the options? Another two. Sometimes we need to check. Oh, hmm? you this? Hey! Okay, no. No? No, show them all. Where is no? America. America. Yeah, yeah. Ni show them all. Ni show them all. Show them all. My Chinese isn't good. Oh, Chinese. So, so. Yeah, yeah. Down here? Yeah. Oh, all right. See for Kai. She 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 she. What is he saying? I don't know. No, no, no. As promised, we are coming back to the Bund and we're going to experience what this place is like at night time. So, some people would argue that at night is even better than during the day. I think both of them have their own, let's say, unique competitive advantages. But wait until you see the skyline. I'm just building up some excitement. And I'm starting to think that nighttime might even be daytime. All right, three, two, one, and boom, what do we got right there? That is that beautiful tower you guys saw earlier lit up. I think that thing looks even better. We got the police watching very closely. I like that stance though. But oh, they have this whole area, I guess, blocked off a bit more. Interesting, yeah, coming here at night, look at how many thousands of people are surrounding this area. And they have like gates, so I guess people probably jaywalk at night. And oh, and now even the uh, crosswalk is lit up. And if you guys know, like the main reason why a lot of cities around the world have done the crosswalks on the ground is because so many people are on their phone all the time. So if you're, not, if you're on the phone and you're looking down like this, 
you're not gonna see that it's a red light. But when you got these things right here on the ground, then you will know. Oh, this is something else. Oh, we're on camera right there. Let's see if we can find the boys. Can't see them. Oh, we're getting whistled at. All right. We got the boys, let's go. I found the camera now. This is crazy. I know, what do you think, better at night or during the day? Definitely night. Yeah, yeah, facts. 100% night. It's crazy how much more like, controlled this area is now at night because during the day it was like really relaxed like no one was really telling you which way to go but i mean it's a friday night so i'm sure this place gets crazy with some of the uh, going out culture i've heard of this place yeah yeah and we have all of these orange lights lighting up these almost english style architecture over here like british style so let's head up here and see a much clearer view of the bund like, well, let's put it this way. No. Yeah. From a voting perspective, who's going to think it's better at night versus during the day? We're going to decide that by the amount of people that are here. Look at this whole area. I know it's dark, but it is completely filled with people everywhere. Thousands, no, hundreds of thousands of photos are being taken all at once. In like one night, there's probably millions of photos of this place taken. You, you can barely, oh, you can even sneak right up here. We got a shot right up there. Hey, ni hao. All right, look at this right up there. That skyline is something else. And there's one of those river cruises right out there. I want to get on one of those one of these nights. That looks awesome. Cruising right down the river this way, I'd say that's gonna be a pretty sweet time. Oh shit, are you that famous yeah. guy? Are you the famous hey, British guy? I recognize you. <laughs> you doing autographs? <laughs> Get them, they're British legend. I put Chinese people like, what's going on? <laughs> Two guys with uh, wands. <laughs> it's Harry Potter, take him out. Oh, there's Americans, <laughs> yeah. they're taking over. Exactly, he's one of those Americans with those southern accents, they're talking about you. <laughs> Oh, look at this. We've got a pirate ship even coming by here. That is a absolutely wild looking vibe right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. <coughs> this skyline is something else. We've got the TV tower, purple looks. We've got the orange green lights up there. We have all of these towers. China's tallest building, Shanghai Tower. It's just got like LEDs going up the side with an advertisement up top saying Shanghai Tower. Like this building is like just lit up in so many colors. It is easy to look at this city with how many things are happening at once. And then right up front we just have these boats that you can pretty much only see the skeleton of them with the rope lights on it. And look at this right here with all these people along the lines. You, they even have a waterfall coming off the side lit up in blue. I don't remember seeing that during the day or maybe I just didn't notice it. Pull right there. That one's not even in Chinese. <laughs> That's in English. <laughs> All right. Good. Oh, it does smell really good. The IFC Mall. Welcome, welcome. And with all malls all around the world, you take a big smell and you got perfumes. <sighs> it's crazy. Every mall I go into around the world is the same. Some are a little more high end. But in general, they've got the same light. Oh, what do we got going on over here? Oh, that's why it smells so good, huh? Oh, hello there. Look, he's got some water. He sees us. Uh, ni hao. Ni hao. Robotic? I, I guess that's a air freshener? I don't know. <laughs> People are looking at me like, what is he doing smelling the machine? Technology. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> he's never seen it before. <laughs> Oh wow, all right, this is festive. Look at this, guys. Multi-level. That's a cool mall, though. Here, this must be a popular store. They've even got uh, belts going on here.
So guys, we are walking up to the Shanghai Tower right here. This is the third largest tower in the world. Ahead of it is Burj Khalifa at number one and a very large tower, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, in Malaysia. So we are here, as you can tell, China's pretty modern. We've got Porsches behind us. We've got insanely massive buildings. Just look at where we are. This is crazy. So let's do it. And we are walking up to the Shanghai Tower now. The closer you get to it, the more insane it feels that we're gonna be going up over 2,000 feet. Guys, we're talking about one third of a mile is the very top. Think of that, one third of a mile. How long does it take you to drive? At 60 miles per hour, one mile, one minute. Isn't that insane? So that's how tall this place is. Looks like we have arrived to the ticket office question is is how much cash are they looking for i'm guessing with a building like this it is going to be expensive 268 adults if we want to go to the observatory and the sky if we want the full shebang we'll be paying nearly 21 dollars 20 18 15 dollars over 60 i'll get the senior discount over see oh yeah senior discount there we go perfect <laughs> we got a little sneak peek hard to see with the reflection there Let's see. i think it's live too 20, 12 1 2023 at 256 you can see the traffic so we're gonna see some amazing views first time to get the ticket ni hao uh, hello yes uh, the the big package to a 268 package okay show me please passport yes ideal all right we got ourselves the ticket right there let's do this and here we go, Shanghai Tower, it's time. Oh. And we have arrived. Hello, uh, you know how we can get here, brother? Oh, all right, this is gonna be sweet. Wait a minute to the left side of one. Oh, okay, she, 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 she. That was pretty cool right there, you see? They're so used to um, having foreigners come if they don't speak English. Just spoke directly to his phone, had the translate come through, gave us the directions. Quick and easy. That is technology for you, my friends. Uh, there it is, observatory entrance. So this is where we gotta go, looks like, to get in. Maybe down here. Visiting from here, all right. Well, they're watching us closely. Bro, you are smoking hot up there. <laughs> 36 degrees uh, Celsius. Shisha. Oh, thank you. We got on camera right there. Hello, hello. It's cool. They've got like all of the models of the building as we're going through here. This one's in Taipei, Taiwan. We got to go there soon. Drop a comment if you guys want to see us there. And drop a comment if you want to see all the boys going there together. And here we go. We are taking this thing all the way up so we just took the world's fastest elevator going 18 meters a second that is crazy my ears were popping the whole time Ooh. and now we're coming to the light oh after being in the uh, dark oh. oh my gosh it's like walking into heaven right now bro <laughs> it's so bright on this side that we can't even see anything. Look at this, the sun is going down. Like now that we're not directly in the sun, you can see through here much, much better. And this feels a little bit more like the residential side of it. If you look along here, we've got, well, it looks like that's rich China right there. A nice coastal pathway all along the river. And then, yeah, residential buildings with pools in between. Oh my gosh, all of those are identical from up here. That's insane. There we go. Now you can see a nice view of the city here. We've got what looks to be kind of like a replica of the Golden Gate Bridge. Not exactly, but a similar color in terms of the beams, beams right there. 
and this is crazy like all these buildings from the TV tower we were at looked so much bigger and when we were walking on the ground now that we're up here just towers so much higher than the rest of these places yeah so we're cruising around I will say these views are able to bring you like much further out just thinking about when I was at the TV tower you had a lot less obstructing views and you can see just that much further out the nice part about sunset is you'll get you know to see the place lit up in this golden tint but the unfortunate side is that it also lights up some of the pollution in the air and that gives it not as clear of a feel as we experienced at the TV tower so I'm glad we went to the TV tower first got to experience that but yeah this one will just give you a much larger layout of the whole area down this way oh what's going on over here looks like people have attached a bunch of writing i wish i could read what some of these said i'm in shanghai 12 24 2022 that's been up there for a year let's see if we can find anything in english Oh, this one. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much, my friends. What is this? Ah, this is where you buy one of those. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get one. I want to write something. Let's get which option? Dun, 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 dun. Ding. And boom. We got ourselves one. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Let's set this thing up and get her done. Okay, sweet. And what do we do with it? Pop that thing open? <laughs> hey. How's that? Ni hao? Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Xie xie. <laughs> yeah, good Mandarin. Eh? Bang. 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 Gotta write a special note, genie in a bottle right there, you know what I'm saying? World Nomak loves Shanghai. People are friendly. Oh, this handwriting's not good. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one for me to know. Oh, that's, I, I don't, my Mandarin's not that good, brother. <laughs> we got the... A good man's getting some good, good sinnies of us. Uh, shishé. Oh, I think it's to make a wish. I just realized that at the end. But I guess that kind of means I'm wishing for uh, world peace. How about that? This one is the message you guys will be able to find. World Nomac was here. Tag me at World Nomac. So if you find it, tag me. I would love to know. Who has made it to the same place? Oh, oh, that's me! Oh, we're, we're live there. Oh, I look different. Hey, oh, shishé, shishé. Very good. Custom one to uh, bring back home to the family. Oh, yeah, like now? Shishé ni hao. All right, let's see if you guys can find this. We're going to tie it up somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach very easily. All right, it's a success. We've got it right here. World Nomad was here. So if you find it, guys, right back inside the Tree of Wishes. Bye, brother. Nice to meet you. <laughs> ni hao, ni hao. Shishé. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's great. This puts it in perspective. So we were just down on that little tiny sphere right there in the TV tower. And it's just a little speck now. And when we were over there, that felt like we were on top of the world. That just gives you a much better idea on how grand this whole area is. Wow. All right, we just walked up to the uh, other floor. I'm not sure that there's too much to see here besides a cafe there. Obviously similar views with only going up one more floor. So we'll see if there's anything else interesting up here. But so far, the views just on this side right now, they're just a bit too bright as you can see. All right, looks like over this way, we've got the 632 entrance. Hello. Shishé. This time here. Okay, queue up first. Uh, yes. All right, we got a queue up. So we waited for a queue to queue. Bye-bye. All right, we're going up. 
We're up at 125. 632 Summit. I'm not sure what we're going to be seeing in here. We just got the full package because we thought it was going to be awesome. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Look at this. So this massive, I think over 100 ton piece right here, hanging on these cables, sways with the wind. Look at how thick those cables are. You couldn't even fit your whole hand around one of them. Well, as they describe here, the intelligent eye of Shanghai is omniscient with the inner perception of human mind, consciousness, and subconsciousness as well. While the discovery of the fundamentals of beings, the order of cosmos, the laws of nature, and the way of philosophy philosophizing so it looks into mentality and onto the nature as it is and the world as it should be its shape comes from the classic of mountains and seas I kind of feel like I'm in the movie Avatar right now. Like you gotta connect your spike to something. After a very underwhelming light show, we we're at least awarded with a very nice sunset. As you can see, the place has gotten a bit busier. And we're gonna sneak in here. Oh, look, there we go. Right down there. Oh, yeah. So it ended up working out perfectly. We're here just at sunset. Fast forward a few minutes, we have made it down. Place is getting busy here. Ni hao. All right, well, we have made it back. What did you think of that? Disappointing, I think, is the only way to describe it. It's obviously because of the height and the time, I guess, in the day, you get much more pollution reflecting on everything else, so you don't actually get to see that far out. Yeah. But on top of it, that laser show was underwhelming and it's very, very busy. I would say if you're coming here, go to the Oriental Tower, much better. Yeah. The height is much better as well, and you get to see this tower rather than. You are in the highest tower looking at everything else around you. So, exactly. Yeah, pretty disappointing, especially for that amount of money you spent over here. Yeah, for sure. Like, if you're going to come here, you got to come, like, midday, so that way, like, the pollution doesn't uh, get reflected off the sun. Because then it'll just feel um, much, uh, much more, like, clear when you take photos. Like, a lot of the photos and videos we're taking is just, like, just not as crisp as when we were at the uh, Oriental Tower. So, if you, are, if you do want to experience both like we did, I'd recommend starting earlier in the morning go into both before the sun sets and then at least you'll get the clear views but you can get the cheaper ticket here where you don't include that top pendul pendulum I mean you learn some facts about it they could watch on YouTube and it's a it's cool to see like the actual thing that makes the building sway but at the same time it's also like just a bit underwhelming because it's just a light show so I mean maybe we've just seen so many wild things in the world that we're like <laughs> You know, like some of these things aren't as like overwhelmingly exciting, but uh, yeah, there's just there's a lot of other things you can spend the cash on here that I think will go further. Now we gotta find the British legend number two. He's somewhere in Mickey Danks. <laughs> I was just watching for you and I still missed you. God damn it. That's three for That's zero. Three for zero. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> You missed World's Greatest Light Show upstairs. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was Definitely a must. It was we gotta head up there right now. Yeah, it's I'm worth going. spending two hours. I'll meet you up there. <laughs> so today we are going to experience a Chinese massage. Ni hao ma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Yes. We, we gotta figure out how to say yes. Ah, yes. Yeah. We don't even know how to say yes. <laughs> Step one, we've got a nice warm bucket of water here. 
Oh, shishé. Oh, that's really warm. Oh. Wow, that is hot. Oh, it's defrost in the feet right now. Super hot. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a this has set the tone for the pain that we're gonna go through. Yeah, this is gonna be some serious pain. Oh. Oh, it's great after walking this whole time. Yeah, after all that walking, bro. Oh, oh. Oh, now we're starting on the feet. Yeah, that water is so hot. Especially when your feet are so cold. Yeah. It just feels that much hotter. Oh, looks like we're moving to step two. Oh, one foot at a time. Put in like 80,000 steps already on this trip. So, in three or four days. So, now getting these feet just lotioned up, beaten up a bit. Oh, that's heaven. How much is it? Uh, maybe like seven, twenty-five to thirty dollars. Yeah, for the full package. So whatever tactic you're doing right now, it's sometimes catching me off guard, tickling like in between the toes. <laughs> Are you feeling that yet? Starting to get that. <laughs> oh, she's it. Yeah, it's very pinpointed. Like right now, there's like all of the parts of my toes that are. Like, I guess, where the most pressure points are when walking. And she's really just massaging each one perfectly. It's, uh, it feels so good, but sometimes borderline ticklish. Oh, that is quite nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the whole going over there, bro. I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. Oh, they're playing with your little... No, that's a big, big muscle right there, bro. <laughs> Legs of steel. The, the uh, intensity is slowly increasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got the double ed, ed, got the double leg action going, bro. Oh man, I can do that all day. Uh, I'm gonna be coming back in <laughs> every day. So we're going back to fishing, bro. Back in the hot water. Oh. So next it's uh, back massage time. I think it is, right? Or is it just a foot massage place? You made it sound like we were getting the full body. Though. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh yeah, so we're going back? Oh yeah. That's a good sign. <laughs> Alright. Got the uh, shoes on. This must be where the massages happen. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, alright. I'm right here. She's wrapping up her. So I think they're going to be using the feet. Oh, oh. Something's going on here. She's using the handrails to stand on that. Oh, wow. Oh. I think she's using her foot on my foot. 
<laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> this is great. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's great. She <laughs> That's really nice. Deep tissue. Oh, yeah, it's deep tissue. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Especially from walking around now, it's really working those muscles. Oh, bro. I'm getting those quadriceps worked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> oh. This is so funny watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect because this is right after three days back in the gym after two weeks off. So all the muscles are sore and it's just carrying them. <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> I just got launched up on the bed, bro. No way. <laughs> I hope my camera was on for that. Oh. Oh. I don't know if my body's supposed to move like that. She grabbed my wrist and just ripped me up. No way. Yeah, I was like, this is more off the bed, bro. Oh my god. Nope, nope. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That was easily one of the most wild massages I've ever had in my entire life. What about you, bro? Yeah, easily. I've never had someone stand on me before. <laughs> yeah, they they were hanging from these things, and just bam, bam, bam. <laughs> we were running on. Us. Like, we were like basically a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. At one point, I was like, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I was like, oh, that got me good. So, all right. Uh, okay. Shisha. Great massage. <laughs> uh, 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 for the total? Oh, 130 each. She's uh, cash? Or cash? Cash is better? Alipay? Alipay or cash? Uh, Alipay? Uh, oh, Alright, confirm. Oh, we gotta put the payment code. Yeah, successful. Shishi. Shishi. Thank you. Thank you. So you hook her up with a tip? Tip? Shishi. Oh, Shishi. Thank you. Shishi. Shishi. <laughs> All right. They're not used to people coming in and paying nearly double. <laughs> she gives it 100. Yeah. How much is 100? 14 bucks. 
Okay, I mean, to beat the hell out of me like that, 100 extra for the tip was well worth it. I feel like a brand new man. <laughs> and a big old knee how. Knee how. The boys have woken up after a nice good night's sleep, and we are heading to explore more of the hotel here. As you can probably tell by our outfits, we are going to get food. No, we're actually going to the gym right now, and we're going to take you for a little tour as we're walking through here. This place is like a really interestingly uh, designed hotel. As you can see, we've got like restaurants mixed in down here. Looks like that's probably the breakfast area. That one looks like it's maybe not open here. And then we've got the gym right over here. Oh, okay. Up the stairs. Upstairs over there. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Uh, and then the Let's check water, this place out. Uh, water and tower is in, in, in YouTube. Thank you very much, Linda. All right. And then the gym is for 24 hours. 24 hours. Oh, that's great. Shishi. -shi. All right, so this is the uh, cardio haven. What do you boys think? You want to hit the treadmill? Yeah. Treadmill it? Yeah. No, yeah. weight room. Yeah, I love that. Running away from the treadmill. <laughs> yeah, running away from the treadmill. <laughs> So the Tai Chi room. Tai Chi going on over here. All right. Fitness room. Oh, it's a bunch of mirrors. That's pretty sweet. All right. We're going to head on up. Secret stairway this way, right? All right. We got the uh, gym up this way. I like this little grand staircase that brings us right up. Oh, look at this. It's just like right out here in the lobby. Got the gym. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Filipino gym at the uh, at Ramada. Oh, yeah. Brand new weight. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. All right. Well, probably enough to get the job done. We got free weights here. We've got some machines, and looks like we've even got more machines over here, and it leads, I guess, somewhere else. So, let's get this going. Time to get shredded, boys. Yalla. Eh? Eh? All right, we got a nice pump on the chest going. Let's see how the boys are going. Let's go, come on, another one, another one, back up there. Another one, another one, back up there. Snake off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one, time to get shredded. Mr. Olympia coming soon. Uh, oh, damn, bro, you're getting shredded. Yeah, bro. All right, we got 20 more, bro. 19. 120. 18. 121. 203,476, <laughs> Damn, bro. This is why we used to call him Bicep Tar. He's back like he never left. <sighs> All right, let's see how many he's got in. 20? All right, there we go. The British legend. He definitely doesn't get to hang out, man. All right, we got Plete. Arbao. This is my... Oh, he's, just, he's touching his feet on the ground every time. Smart man. <laughs> You're allowed to. Oh, really? Not, th not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I, can, I can jump up. Yeah, yeah, cause, <laughs> oh, there we go. 25. Nice. Not bad. Spartans, forward march. Back. We've got the hair man over there checking out some uh, fresh designs. See something you like, bro? Oh, yeah. You can get photo printed on your shirt. Oh, no way, really? Yeah. Get a, get a perception customized. Oh, yeah. We got, we got to get a custom one. Can they can they print them right now? I think so. Oh, all right. Let's yeah. Let's do this. Let's test this out. All right. Let's see what our man can hook us up with. What do we got going on here? Some fresh picks, custom made. I think these are kid sized T-shirts. So we'll see what we can get. A little frame, photography. Looks like he prints them pretty quick. Good luck ordering this one, bro. Yeah. Uh, ni hao, brother. Uh, how much for one of those? Oh, special price today then. Yeah, let's do a group shot. Perfect. Yeah, Sudi. Yeah, let's do it. Get in here, boys. Get, um, ask how much? No, it's 50. 50? Yeah. 50? Yeah, it's only seven bucks. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. Oh. All right. Whoa. CC. Shisha. Shisha. One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about a okay. shisha now. <laughs> Okay, all right, we're doing the full photo shoot. All right, yeah. All right, boys, we gotta get, we gotta get the pose here. Yeah, this is gonna, this bill's gonna be adding up. Let's go. Shisha, shisha. Oh no, 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 just that, just that, brother. 
I reckon this is gonna be the best photo you've ever seen in your life. I believe it, especially the one we're stepping on you. We should, yeah, <laughs> we should sell these in the in the video. Oh we yeah, exactly. Start a little street stand here. <laughs> oh, all right. Whoa! Whoa! This is okay? Kabukai. Kabukai. Yeah, Kabukai. Okay. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. good, good. Oh yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah, all of them. All of them. Ah, she. This side, give me some money. Okay, AliPay, AliPay. Oh, AliPay. One yeah. two. How much, brother? One two. One dollar. 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 One Four photo. Four photo. Yeah, yeah, we're taking over. We got one suga right there. We got a, a suga there. <laughs> okay. We got the suga there. Okay. Suga. Yeah, we're, we're sugaing out right now. Suga, suga. Oh, oh, suga. Let's go. It's got double print right there. No, 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 no. no? Let's oh. suga that one out. Just yeah. suga. All right. Okay. Suga. Yep. Suga four. Okay. Two hundred. Yeah. That's quite expensive. That's good price. Twenty-eight bucks. Oh, 28 bucks. Yeah. Are we getting them printed at least on the canvas we can resell, brother? Why didn't you just get one? We gotta sell these, bro. Oh, true. True. Yeah, buy them now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. 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 <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see this. Oh, can I try? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that right? Oh. Man, that thing is hard. Look, you gotta look, try look, that look. bicep thought. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. An artist. We're stepping on Sire. That's a framer right there. Oh my gosh. Look at these boys. Look at that. That is looking fresh. Oh, oh. That's the four pack right there. And number four. Well done, brother. How much did you pay for that one, Matt? Uh, seven bucks a pop. If you want to buy one, bro, I'll sell you one for 15. <laughs> 200? <laughs> All right, shisha. <laughs> Bye, brother. <laughs> oh, we gotta do the we gotta do the bow, right, brother? Yeah, he just made some good money. That was like twenty eight bucks. We got ourselves a brand new stack right here. For those of you who have made it this far into the video, you probably are seeing a different look at what China is like. Now, probably a lot of the comments below are saying, "Are you paid by the Chinese government? Who told you to come here? Are these paid actors?" All of that is not true. I came here on my own with Ali and Harry to explore this place and see what it's like because in every country I've been to, especially ones that have intense perceptions about them, I've always found a completely different atmosphere than what mainstream media will share. So I can tell you after being here in Shanghai for six days, I'm going to be coming back to a lot more cities and sharing with you many more unique parts about this country whenever I'm back again. So I'm sure many of you have a lot of questions and are wondering more things about what life was like in China. Drop your comments below. I might make a separate video that will answer a lot of these questions you might have about what life is like in China. What are my additional experiences or thoughts that maybe I didn't fully share in the video. I would love to know your guys' feedback on that. So thank you guys so much for watching and get ready because we've got a lot of great content coming up. We'll see you in the next one.